songs, but like scene, scene, like Sister Act Two, I can do every, every scene. The love boat. I said we'll be making another ride. All aboard. That's the real part. I killed it yeah, too. Oh my you, god! You did can't you hear just that? like pull out random no you ass can lines from a movie? Sister Act Two, you can. That's what people do. Yeah, I know, but like. No, nah, that was no. like a super random. No, it's not. No, it's that... not. I bet anybody else's listeners go understand. Sister Act Two is one of those things you could just. Mm. One another movie I do it too though is uh, Eve's Bayou, but nobody ever knows it, so it's never as catching. They don't catch like because Eve's it... Bayou. Oh my god, that was my shit. I knew every part of Eve's Bayou. What was this one scene when Journey was like uh something 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 uh. Ain't that much dirt in all Louisiana. Get out the damn tub. What? What? I've never seen Eve's Bayou from beginning to end. I've never seen. It's or such heard a good fucking movie. Put the mic to your mouth, Tim. It's, it's at my a... mouth. No, Are it's you not. Me? I don't. I'm not moving it. You got to move it. It's right there. No, you're putting your head down to go right there. Just pull it up. <sighs> Why Just pull, there you go. That's all. Why your head heavy? <laughs> Why your head so heavy? Oh, heavy head ass. <laughs> Why your head can we move on from this? You didn't answer. <laughs> you didn't answer. It's J Rod. Chris is a bit. And then we had Sex the Podcast, the fastest growing podcast in Temple Hills, Maryland. Feels good. Temple Hills started listening like three days ago. I, can't I ain't never seen them before. That. And then all of a sudden, they just started listening like mad people. I can't people. believe you actually remembered that. I don't even see it written down nowhere. Nah, no. I, I actually looked it up right oh, before okay. we started. Okay. So. But um, yeah, yeah, shout out to them. I also, I got to give an honorable mention to the Bronx uh, because they've been listening hard. Like This is not legit. the time for me to say anything slick. Like, I can't even. No. Because I'm sitting between two fucking whatever. <laughs> <laughs> VA, though. Uh, uh, VA. Yeah, I mean, VA. Okay, Hampton was been listening as well. Um, <laughs> What's up, guys? Howdy. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> You know what's funny is I pre did I say to Jay that you were poisoned? I, I feel like I'm, I said I it and he just kept going during this recording. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. My my throat is foaming. I have I was, nothing for that. So like I just been doing mouthwash now with just straight water and um peroxide because it makes my mouth feel like it's nothing. So I'm like I know it's clean. It, I don't feel shit right. But I think I swallowed some, and now I feel it. Like, when you put peroxide in a wound, and it just starts... That's, I think that's what it's doing to my throat. Is it peroxide that you're supposed to use for that? Yeah, I looked it up. It was, so yeah, she looks up everything, yeah. man. It's weird. It's all, You can use all the different types of things. You could do vinegar, too, but, like, yeah, I was like, peroxide makes Why not just, feel. like, do coconut oil? What? What? How are you gonna gargle coconut oil? Yeah, that's that's I don't I don't mm, that is skills, Taylor. Good job. <laughs> what? You gargle coconut oh, oil? Like you swish coconut oil no, for like 20 minutes. My jaws don't work like that. What? I have no You guys haven't seen it's supposed to clean the bacteria, whiten teeth, all that stuff. It's kind of gross because the texture gets gnarly, but Yeah, that's why you shouldn't do it's it. It's not meant to be gargled. But it, it's good for your mouth. Yo, coconut oil, you got a lot of different uh, oh benefits. Uh, Apparently. I keep hearing it, man. It um, how was your week, Taylor? How was my week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why Why you have to say it like it's an it investigation not, yeah, it's or something? It's situations where we answered for you. <laughs> how was We don't do that. We asked the question, and then you answered. It was fine. It was good. It was cool. It was fun. It was Anything interesting. interesting? Um. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's always something. I know, but for some reason, I swear to God, every time we get here and we sit down, I'm like, uh, did and not. then later on in the show, oh my God, you know what I did do yesterday? <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm like, what the hell did I do this weekend? What did what did I do? I saw a friend. Why are you looking at me? Did I, you fuck? No. <laughs> Was that? Were you lying before? I didn't say anything. I never all. lied about anything. Okay. She never answered a question. There was no question. Yeah, you didn't ask me anything. I did. I asked you after. Did you fuck? You asked me what? What? I think you asked me what we did, and if I did yeah. anything, and I was like, I didn't do anything. Yeah. So he did eat you out. I- wait, 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 wait. Because I asked you that question as well. No. 
So you gave him head? No. That Damn, is you, that sex for you? <laughs> I mean, like, depending. Who automatically just goes to that? You can't just be like, did y'all have sex? Like, you're just <laughs> yeah, like, no. Well, like, the first question did I asked. Did y'all cuddle? Oh, so did he, he did pass you, pick, like, kiss you on the <laughs> forehead. <laughs> Damn. Did y'all make I out? That up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you say make out? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking white girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you so Wait, giggly about the make out? Did so you make funny. out? <laughs> it wasn't. Did you make out? <laughs> like you can't just ask if you had sex, but you go from like you suck his dick, you eat you out. Did you guys make out? <laughs> it, was sweet. it was sweet as hell. Like that was so sweet. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Well, you know what is funny about you saying that is like it. This whole session did like remind me of high school a little bit, so it was weird. Oh god, wow, that's not not in a bad way. It's just that we've known each other for a really long time, so it was... that could be either like really familiar or, or like he just still acts like he does in high school. Maybe he hasn't learned anything new since that. Well, no, I don't mm. think. I don't. I think not just that. You scared he listening? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think there's things it like even made me feel like a high schooler again. Like it was like a weird I felt like we went back in time. Did you giggle? No. Ah, uh, you probably did. I'm probably, probably. Yeah, made out more than once. Not by our, our not by ourselves. Not I mean, with our mouths. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it wasn't like just making out. It's like we were on the couch, like dry humping and making out. Oh shit! Wet humping. I oh don't god! Know. I want to go back to that dry humping. <laughs> you nah. can't, you would not last that long. Nah, fuck a dry hump. You would not last that long. I dry that. hump you all the time though. <sighs> I thought you it know. was cuddling, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought- I did weirdly think about uh, us. Not, Wait, no. wow, wow, what? what? Cuddling? <laughs> Cuddling? Wow. My dad? Uh, that's worse. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> wow. You made it so much better than what I thought it was. <laughs> but okay, but also a little bit because I felt so indifferent about the situation. Like, no, that sounds harsh. Oh, so I don't that's know. hard. You yeah, no, to, I mean, you I gotta just switch it up. I'm just, I'm happy that we're taking a two week break because I think that. Damn, way to tell our listeners. First of all, oh, you sorry. scheduled it? In my ha- Oh, Wait, you're talking about us. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you were talking about him in the dick. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I just, I, I, it was like going to the bathroom. Like, I felt no. Oh, we talk about sex too much. Yes. I said that to you. I, we were having a conversation about sex. So I was like, do you think that maybe we like other people do this or we're just so used to talking about it that it's just like oh yeah so i went to the bathroom and then like i was fucking this dude and then like uh, like do you feel like it's like that i mean i didn't really think so but now i'm like what the fuck it's like it's it's like a sports player the more you do it the more it becomes natural speaking about sex and talking about sex and us being as open as we are on this show is not the norm for people most people can't do it and then so us speaking about it off air and really just getting into it makes it normal for us to speak about it on air. So it's practice. That's all we're doing. It's yeah, practice. but it's not the. it's it's almost so in indif- or so normal. It's not normal. Mm, yeah. Now that's a problem. That's what I'm saying. Like there's <laughs> there's, there's an issue here <laughs> that I was working on in the first place. And now it's just gone even worse I, because I was like, whoa, I think maybe maybe it's just the people. Maybe maybe that's what it is, because remember, we had a discussion and you were like, the more you've had sex with other people, you've thought about uh, uh, somebody else. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, so maybe it's the people. But I don't think it's just, just I mean, but even sex itself didn't feel you like You just it. think you're broken. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. It's okay. I don't know. I mean, probably, I mean, maybe that is what it is. I just need yeah. to fuck him. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know which one you used it. <laughs> I don't know which one it was. Yeah, for real. I was kind of confused, too. Uh, all of the above. <laughs> oh, man. Oh um, Kristen, how was your week? It was fine. Just regular week. You know, I don't think I did anything. Um, cookies on sale. Yeah, selling cookies. Uh, oh, got some man. orders in. Uh, yeah, nothing. Had a problem with uh, your Venmo. Oh, yeah. I think somebody tried to... Oh, fuck. 
I don't like saying fuck stuff because if we need sponsorship later, maybe not um, from them. Yeah, well, fuck them. Um, <laughs> they so I had an issue where I apparently had two Venmo accounts and people were sending mon- me money for the cookies that I sell and the money wasn't showing up. And I'm talking to customer service about three or four different times. I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't know where the money is. And they ask me for information like, well, let me see their username or whatever else so I can narrow down the problem. And I give them everything that they want and they're still like, yeah, we can't help you. And then I was like, oh, Okay, so what do you mean you can't help me? They were like, yeah, we can't help you. You got an ID? And I lost my ID before COVID. So DMV, everybody knows, has month waiting list. And I I was like, no, I don't. I explained my situation. Then they asked me for my bank account info and my routing number and all this other stuff. This was the only way that I could get information about what was going on. I give them all of that, and they're like, ah. You still don't have ID? Oh, well, we can't <laughs> do shit for you. And I was like, bitch, what? now you got my shit. Now you got all my information. What the? He was like, I promise I'm going to delete this thread when this conversation is over with. Like, I'm on this side. I can't even see my fucking money. You think I can see what's on your side with my conversation? But anyway, um, then I was like, well, fuck y'all. And then we figured it out. <laughs> my issue was like, if somebody paying you for some for something, like, I'm getting money from people. Now you can't locate that money and there was no way for them to locate their money. This money just out there. Money was slowing. Yeah. And they just, they lost their money. So it's not even that I have it. Nobody has it now. So fuck them. Fuck them out. Like Cash App never would have done me like that. Ever. And they, um, Cash Card is cuter as black. (laughs) Make me feel rich. There we go. (laughs) Other than that, I ain't do shit. Um, (laughs) I'm having a crazy. I'm having a crazy day or two. Um, For some reason, I think it started like two or three days ago. We woke up super late, and ever since we woke up super late, my sleep pattern has been off. So last night. I was I was up and I was like, okay, well it's not too too late. I need to go to sleep so I can try to get back on track. And I went to my emergency pills. I have a I have a few pills where I know will put me to sleep. Wow, we are really doing that on this podcast. What you mean? Talk about your pills? No, these are these are like prescribed. Legal? They're yeah yeah okay. they're well, prescribed let's, let's, pills. Let's clarify. Somebody gonna take um, that. <laughs> it's his legal pills. Not it's his my illegal. legal pills. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so I have a few of them, and I said, well, I'm just gonna take one of these just to help me get to sleep. And I forgot that what it does is makes me drowsy the next day. So I took the pill. Uh, went right to sleep, and I woke up this morning feeling like it was a train wreck, um, feeling like a train wreck. And then I went to, after I left the house, I went to get some coffee. I forgot that coffee is hot, burnt off all my goddamn taste buds, so I haven't <laughs> been able to taste anything all day. Wow. Um, wow. And I'm still fucking exhausted, and I'm like, I should have just stayed up all night. It would have been way better. What the fuck? Way better. Um, but... I'm going to get through this podcast, I promise. Oh, my God. Also, I've been sick. That's That was another thing I forgot. I this forgot is the I most sick. broken start it. of a podcast ever yeah. in the history mean? of But, podcast. like, regular sick, not like, like you know, the, the trendy one. Well, a couple of things. First and foremost, uh, shout out to all our listeners in India. We're on a new site in India, <laughs> and we've been getting a laugh. lot of <laughs> different uh, listeners out of India. So shout out to y'all. That's cool. Um, also, shout out to the YouTube viewers. And um, Ireland. You don't never shout out Ireland. Ireland. Oh, yeah. Ireland been holding us down ever since we, we appeared on their television. We did their, <laughs> their television like it's a whole new planet. You know, yeah, their television. Nah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's fucking cool. But shout out to Ireland. Shout out to YouTube. The YouTube is up. I'm keeping it like new each week. There's the new episode. So I'm proud of myself about that. Um, also, <laughs> shout out to the iHeart listeners and the Spotify listeners. 
um, that are back because, you know, we were down off of Spotify for a couple of months. Yeah. But yeah. Um, we're back there. So shout out to all of y'all. Also, if you're listening to the podcast right now, you're a fan of the podcast, make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. Also, make sure that you screenshot and show people that you're watching or listening to our uh, our show. So. Once again, Yo, just, that was so yeah. much. It felt like it was so many. It was a lot. Church and oh. I was I wasn't finished. Also, uh, still have a book out there, the Friend Zone Playbook. If you want to go pick that up for someone for Christmas, that would be great for them. Um, it'll be great if for they us are, as well. It'll be great for us as well because um, we have kids, mad of them. Um, of them. <laughs> but uh, let's get to the question. Oh, and and last announcement, real quick. Uh, we're about to take a two week break, um, so there won't be any new episodes. Doesn't mean that Damn, we won't why be putting. We didn't, why you didn't want to see if we had a way to say it? Because she already said it. Yeah. So uh, Taylor already <laughs> said it. Yeah, so we we're going on a two week break. Uh, this will be our last, uh, our last, our last new episode until the new year. Um, but I will say that that doesn't mean we won't be dropping some things on uh, on the feed. So make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you are. Um, leaving comments and everything and we'll Damn. try to make sure you're on the Instagram to and, stay up to date. And if you're still listening, um <laughs> It was mad shit. It was mad shit. Oh I had to get God. I just <laughs> wanted to make sure I, I still can't believe hey, you said hold church on. It out hold me. on. I just want to bring you back in. Bring you bring you no, this is not you're not listening to the radio. You are listening to <laughs> and then we have whatever. Sex. Uh question of the day What's the one thing you wish your partner did in bed, either from the past or your present partner? Taylor, we'll start with you. I'm uh, sure it'd be from the past. Oh my God. Yeah, that, that wasn't it. That fucking... wasn't a dig. Wow. I mean, no, She's what? not with anyone right now. Uh, is this the is this the one where y'all fight? Because I'm like that. I nah, this she's is single. taking a two week break. <laughs> she's oh single, my God. Man. Go ahead. Wow. Um, I don't know, what the or something the you would want somebody to do with it. What's one that? thing that you wish your partner did in bed? I just had sex. Maybe there was something that I would have liked mm-hmm. for him to have done. Mm-hmm. Did you say? So you did have sex with him. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> How does this happen? Why are you How such? Why? Why happen? did you do that? Man, she when she was telling me about it earlier. She forgot that she didn't tell us that she had sex, so oh. she was just talking to me, and um, and I was like, oh. I mean, I'm just ignoring the fact that you told me y'all did, but keep telling the story because I didn't want to <laughs> stop her because she was going to stop I talking. I don't get why you're so mad. Like, I told you you were going to have sex that night. Like, I, I told you. That's why. I don't like me telling you, right? Me being right. It's not even about being right. It's the way you say it. It just like, it, t- it makes me not want to con- have sex. It's a sex. foregone conclusion. If somebody is coming at your house after 12 o'clock and you like them in any kind of way, shape, or form and you're not on your period, they're not like, in a relationship, hey, damn, probably gonna fuck. You trying to check all these? But that's boxes not up. true. Wait, what? What you mean? You just let people come over your house late at night randomly that you're attracted to? I when did I ever say I was attracted yeah, to him? He said, he I mean, would, yeah, she said, uh, she never said that. So you're not I attracted actually to him? Specifically, had she said, said that it was, yeah, not in that sort of, not in that because way we were at so all. close that we've known. It, yeah, mm, we had this that conversation. Shit don't mm. Count in no man, like I've heard. But you. I feel how I feel. I don't know what to well, say. Well, you still yeah. had sex with him, so who's yeah. Right? At the but you just assume automatically, and it's in a way, it's like, well, they're coming over to fuck you, so you're gonna get fucked, and it's like, hold up. If I don't want to have sex, no. If you're coming over, but you wanted to have sex. When he came over, no, his intention come. He came over the a couple of weeks before, and nothing happened. Wait, I meant to ask. Did did he eat the other part of that cookie? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. That's all that. <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah. cookies are involved. Like we were taking <laughs> shots here before we went back to my place, and nothing happened. Yeah, but there was a difference the last time he was here. I had a shot. What was the difference? Time. He was with people. Here, he was in a situation. Yeah, but then he came back to my apartment. Yeah, he was still in the situation. Though. Oh no, he wasn't in the situation. Uh, they they were they were more in the situation then than they were now. 
than they are now. I mean, I feel like they're equally in this situation. They're pretty situated for life. No, that's <laughs> way, y'all have said way too many things. That's way too many things. That's Listen, still, you still, sit. you're not even understanding why that's irritating when you say that, that you are, every time it's because he's coming over and he wants to have sex, you're going to have sex. I'm sorry. Is this like one of those females, I'm strong, hear me roar apart? My bad. You wanted to have sex. And you are strong enough to make your own decision. Oh All my right. God! Wait, wait, wait! Black I didn't want to laugh. I didn't want to laugh at this funny. You know, you, you you should be exhaled for your uh, 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 your thought process, and I don't ever want to take your control outside of a situation. This isn't about your control or anything like that. I was just saying that I felt that you might enjoy yourself if you had sex with this young man, which you did. Hey guys, I think I might be done. Golly, <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> I keep trying to drink this water and I don't, I don't know if it's washing anything. I'm just like, y'all know. It also said milk. Hey, I don't like milk. Uh, me neither. I hate milk. Milk is fucking I'd gross. rather die than drink milk. Yo, I fuck, fuck milk. But anyway, back to the question though. I'll just fuck everything today. <laughs> fuck milk. Fuck Venmo. Fuck Kroger. I just put the water up. Oh wait, they are they black on? No, oh, I, not I, at all. I, I ain't know. Um, <laughs> they may be, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what is one thing that you wish your partner did in bed? cuddled when i say i want to cuddle like an actual cuddle just a cuddle i've done that no uh you all is a dick somewhere all the time i cuddled with you already wait so the period of time that we're cuddling it's like oh i did cuddle but now yeah uh, no i want to just you know, do you really want to cuddle? Yeah. What do you get from cuddling? I like I, I like being held. I like feeling. What part you. of the whole I thing? Don't, <laughs> I don't know how to say it because it, it sounds so like romance novel. I'm about to die, y'all. My phone, my throat is foaming. I'm sorry. It sounds like it's real, like romantic, but it's not like I. What, I like to feel what, your. Heartbeat presence. and stuff. Oh. I like to be held. I like to. And what change is that when a dick is in you? <laughs> Without a dick in me. But what changes your the feelings? Does my heart not beat when my dick is in you? It's work. Yes, it is work. Sometimes it ain't I, work if she laying there doing shit. No, it's I'm never work. just laying there. You're moving bodies and heart rates are going up. I'm never and... just laying there. I can't just lay there and be like, all right. It's really nice so just you to want, lay on so someone. So you want to feel love without work? Yeah, I mean, not... I just want to know... Hold on, that sounded thing. deeper than I think you probably meant it. That's not what I want. I want... <laughs> I just want to... I like to feel like I'm a part of... Relaxed. Know, one. Relaxed. I just want to lay there. Combined with... Don't face me. <laughs> don't <laughs> fucking face hate me. Her. Yo, <laughs> fuck you, Taylor. Okay? <laughs> face me. Listen, I... And, that should and, be his and, ringtone. And Every time he calls you, <laughs> fuck you, Taylor. Oh, uh, just Jay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you want to cuddle? Yeah. She wants a little tenderness. How many, I, I give you, I give you a cuddle a week, man. What the fuck? And you know what? And sometimes I'm just like, I can go and lay with my babies. Pick me, pick me. Wait, uh, yeah, like <laughs> I can go lay with my babies, and you're like, no, nah, I don't go in there and lay with them. I'm like, no, I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna hold. But I know you were held as a child. Like, what's the, what is? Okay, what's I still like needs? being held, just like I still like breathing. I was doing that back what's in the day too. What's the difference bet- for you between cuddling and a dick insider? Cuddling is cool for a couple of minutes. Then my dick gets hard, and then I'm like, "Well, but why I gotta, you gotta, I gotta feel do something like with this. that? Why you gotta? Why yeah, I'm gonna ask my dick. <laughs> I'm not talking to your dick. You can talk to your dick. Like, I'm not talking to your dick. I'm already I'm down there enough. I don't wow. need to talk to him either. If your dick could talk, man. Man, I would not be here. Your dick ain't your mouth talking. That's way too much talking. And his babies everywhere. Hell no. Do you have anything, Taylor? Um, yeah, you know what I was thinking about? There's like a past partner that I wish that they kissed more. I really like mm. making out. Hmm. hmm. While having sex. I really like cuddling while having sex. Okay. I mean, but I like doing both. I mean, no, making out and not having sex is stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> no. Cuddling and not having sex is stupid. It's not the same. That's not the same. That's not the same. 
same. That's not the it's same. It's the exact it's same not, thing. I mean, it's not the same because we're not having this conversation anymore, man. We're not doing cuddling anymore. I can no, no, see we cuddling. can still cuddle, baby. Oh, you can't I'm make out. Your bodies are already touching when you're making. I mean, okay, never mind. <laughs> you are making my fucking point. No, because you're you're doing work when you're making out. Your your heart rate's getting up. It's like leading to other things. Cuddling is just like, yeah, for yeah. some baby shit. No, it's not. Y'all think if. I feel the bubbles in my throat that <laughs> maybe there's an injury in my esophagus somewhere. Because you know how I do when you put it on the cut out here. But I feel like, I feel like it would come up by now. It's a specific spot where I feel like it's working. You know, I'm just going to say this. Oh, God. You don't even care if I die. That's that's love. If you need to step away to get your throat in order. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. When they come back, it ain't doing no work. I know that. I'm not going to talk. I'm not sucking dick. I'm not doing nothing. You don't care about my injury. I'm not going to lie. I thought you were going to say the one thing that you wish I did uh, in bed was to be rough with you. Oh, oh yeah. You said, I mean, that, yes. We talked about that. How but, how important? <gasps> cuddling is just or, really important for me. But out of, yes. Out of five times having sex, how many of those times do you want it to be rough? Three. Really? I'd be tired a lot. Um, <laughs> two? Really? Two. Two. Okay. You would want to have rough sex two out of how many times? Five. Two out of In five a times. Day? Taylor's Taylor. always thinking Taylor. of big monumental <laughs> lapses of time. Taylor. Taylor, we are not all competitors like you, bitch. I'm not out here trying to run no race. Okay? That dick will be there. And it will be there. I'm not. Wow, Jackie, you're the cursey bitch. You better slow down. Fuck, I'm so mad at you. It's just like, I don't... Oh, we do shouldn't have a young bitch on this podcast. I'm not doing that no more. I gotta compete with this motor mouth bitch. I can't. Oh my God, I'm so mad. Five times, and, whether it's in the same day or not. Okay. Does that make you feel better? How many times does your number have sex? change? No. Does the number change? <laughs> does it? If we talk about it a day, then I'm gonna need to eat lunch. So <laughs> <laughs> you can't be real rough after lunch, you know. You get, might throw up. <laughs> uh -oh, oh my gosh! What? So what about you? Like out of five times having sex, how many times would you like it to be rough? <laughs> As the baby in the background goes, woo! <laughs> the timing on that was so crazy. I wish y'all could hear these babies oh, in the background. Oh my god, oh my god that, that was, was funny. funny. <laughs> um, five, mm, like three and a half. What's the fuck is the half? Like, well, because I would say four, but like midway through the fourth, I might be like, well, mm, I don't know, half slow and down. Half. I get yeah. it. I get it. Arnold Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. Like start off slow and then finish off real rough. No, that's how you win races. <laughs> you know what's so weird? Y'all are ass. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what's so weird? Um I've noticed that in relationships, I don't have rough sex often. But when I'm just in regular wanting to fuck, having sex with other people. It's most of the time it's rough. Most of the time it's probably because you try to get out. Really? Fast. <laughs> nah. You you know what I think it is? I think it's a thing of me wanting to prove that this is some good dick. Yeah. That it's worth that it's worth whatever. Yeah. yeah. You put in happen. more effort. I don't want to say effort, but definitely Thought. I make a con yeah, a conscious decision to give you the dick that you've been talking about on Instagram. Who is that? <laughs> As there's a knock on the what? door. 
we had a we had a knock at the door, people, and Kristen decided to open the door because she thinks every man that is bald is my father. Well, my father is bald, so no, I didn't. So I you just looked think out the window. Figures are bald. No, I couldn't see because my lashes. I was trying to look out the people, and I saw a silhouette, and I was like, I think because that's the only people that I know could be not. I don't what. <laughs> like my daddy ain't gonna be coming to the door. Who the fuck else would be coming this time? <laughs> Oh man! But yeah, back to rough sex. Um, <laughs> oh my god, it's weird. <laughs> I I try I. So you said that you don't think I like rough sex or something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I do. But what I did notice is that I am very cautious with you. Like I smacked you, but it was a uh, like the last time we had sex. I smacked you, but it was like a love tap. It wasn't like a real smack, like I wanted to. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Cause I don't know if she's gonna be into that shit. She might be like, Yo, why are you smacking me? And I was, Why are you cautious with me? Because I don't. I think I don't. <clears throat> I think this goes back to the sex, having sex with your your wife, as opposed to having sex with somebody random. Um, I don't want to ever make you feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Or do something that isn't pleasing. You know what yeah. I mean? Like when I spit in your mouth, I realized gross. that was too far. That was a lot. That that, that was, was a lot. But you know. I took it. I was a team player. Yeah, you know I mean, I think it's just something that we would just have a discussion about it. But I don't think you should. That's weird. That but you're the other with me. the other part with rough sex is it's hard to have rough sex with kids well, because too. I was fucking you hard and the bed kept. Oh, I thought I was yeah. fucking you hard. No, I'm saying you were. It was just weird saying it. It felt loud because I heard a baby in the background <laughs> with you also saying that. Oh, um, but no, I was fucking you hard. And the bed was rattling. <laughs> was the only thing I kept saying is, yo, Caden is going to hear this bed That is what I was thinking. I was rattling. like, we got, we got uh, like fully developed ears out here. Yeah. Uh, I thought about that too. That's so, what I'm thinking about living by myself. That you get to have sex Fucking five times man. and <laughs> not have man. to worry about it. But anybody. also, you know what? Like, we could do that if we weren't on the bed, but it was probably the time of night because he always wanted to fuck at three in the morning. Nigga, it was three in the afternoon. Oh, that was different. You're right. We could have went, we could have, you know, it started there, I guess, because we didn't move. I, I wanted know. it to start in the chair, but. I know, but I wasn't ready. You always want to do it when I ain't take no shower or nothing. You nasty. Yo, we we marry. I Anything know. I smell is like, okay. But what if I don't like it? You ain't got to smell it. You, you, I do smell it. It's what? your it's ass that's. You think, what the hell you yeah, think if, happened? I'm hitting it from the back. It's your ass that's whifting back and the smell <laughs> is hitting me. It ain't hitting you. <laughs> But if, so I'm, if, if I I'm started okay. on the chair and I'm sitting down, then we both get both of us. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. See, you always want me to do stuff like that and my hair getting your face. And you don't think about it. It sounds good. Well, You're sex right. I don't gets want your so hair. technical at a certain point. Oh, my God. <laughs> you do. You have to. Yeah. Because any other time, you're just like, find a place. And then when you like familiar with the place, it's like, mm, should I sit there? I don't know. Hold on. Give me a second. No, keep doing it back there. But I'm going to just, mm, should we? Like, you're just walking around thinking while, while you fucking. Oh, man. I pose it. <laughs> I hate his arm, man. He, oh, it does like sorry. a, what? That was just making me think of like times when you're mid happy and you're like, wow, this position isn't working, but ah! he's going. Um, Can I move? And so. It's like everybody's trying to be cute. It's like yeah. we're all thinking. Like, like you can is- think while you're fucking like, you're just like, nah, it's great. It's like, no, bitch, my neck hurts. You've got to move. That happened two weeks ago. And my bed, was, my head was like stuck on the thing. And I was trying to say I need to scoot down. How do you say you need to scoot? You tap in. What did you? Hold on. He did some shit the other day talking about tap out. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't oh know how God. to tap out. I was I like, I'm not letting out. you go unless you tap out correctly. I'm not, I thought I did it right. I don't know. I, I didn't do anything right, apparently, because <laughs> my head was squished, and then he was done. I was like, great. <laughs> Thanks. I you didn't know even what? know how this was cute. Like, I would have liked to come, but I wasn't comfortable I was, back here. <laughs> Thanks. Like, Thanks for not yo, letting me. You have to respect the woman that doesn't mess up your flow, <laughs> even though she's losing air. Oh, or... my God. We've got to talk. Because I was just sitting here thinking of that. Like, when you... Like, it, not that you, not, mm, I gotta say it, like, repeat, you don't come fast. It's not that. But if you come before I do, it's not, and I'm usually almost there, but I'm in a position where I can see it's getting good for you. And I'll just let you do whatever you Fuck gotta do. Fuck, you're almost there. And but I can't because most of the time, you, every time you almost there, like, I'm losing circulation in my head. <laughs> like, all the blood, I, I don't know. Like, I'm 
twist it up some kind of way. This is what I've learned. And I've learned this not just from us having sex, but watching you like masturbate. When you say I'm almost there, the, the a nut is like 15, 20 minutes away. <laughs> no, no, no. I feel it. Like it's about the. Yeah, but, but sometimes you. you have a false alarm. Yeah. It's like, she oh, always has a false alarm. You think it's about alarm. to come and then you're like, oh, well, of course. But I, also, not trying to be funny, like, do you have to breathe a certain way? If you're about to come, don't you, do you have to, is there like, do you hold your breath or like, like you know that you have to breathe a certain way because this is going to get you here or hold your breath at a certain point? Is nah, it just that, me? That's you, B. For real? That's you. I might just be here. <laughs> uh, I thought it was a, damn, I was so in it. Like, damn, we all related. I know, I was really, really trying to be like. Uh, there are some. <laughs> she, she been, wanted to be on your side. There's yeah. been some times where it's like about to happen and then maybe I can't hold my breath long enough or something and it's like and then i have to start it back up wow um you didn't believe that that was a really fake wow no it was i i i believe i'm sorry all right <laughs> go, go into the listener uh questions you can hit us up on our instagram page and then we have sex uh so you can take part in our questions of the day uh-huh. <clears throat> that like for advice um good. so basically <laughs> what's the one thing you wish your partner did in bed past or present ride dick without being asked or complaining frequent unsolicited head let's stop right there for oh a my second. god did you write that no i didn't write that oh but i feel this young man i bet okay because you refuse to ride the dick no you always ask me late at night Nigga. I'm tired. And it's usually one of those times where I'm like, yo, I'm trying to go to bed. And you're like, nah, well, I'm just going to cuddle. And then we end up fucking. And I already didn't want to do nothing. I told you that. So if you're going to fuck, you How fucking. much energy do you need to ride a dick? Uh, depends on the day. Depends on the day. I might be depleted. What? I'm t- I be tired. Like, it, it's all in the hips. Yeah, that's energy. What, what you don't understand how the body works? Y'all ain't okay. Been to the gym okay. In a you forgot frequent you unsolicited head. Get... Let, let's talk about that then. Okay. The frequency of your head has gone down tremendously since we first got <laughs> with each other. Pulls down pie charts. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah it, did. it did feel like that's the glass. You should have had a glass. And having head yeah. and giving me head until I nut. Like oh, that is wow. you want that, that used to happen. Yeah, that doesn't happen anymore. I don't got know a lot lo- more things to do now. <laughs> no, fuck that. Yeah, like I would love some, and I've told you this before. I would love some unsolicited, as this young man said, unsolicited you know head. Who this was. Yeah, <laughs> I think you wrote this. Nah, <laughs> wrote I would it. like some unsolicited head just coming to me saying, "Hey, baby, I'm about to suck your dick." You know okay. what I mean? And then you suck it. All right. And then you make me nut. And then you go about doing your day. Then we got to fix the locks on these doors then. The fuck you mean? Uh, okay. You do. Uh, hey, baby, I'm going to suck your dick. And then, hey, hey, that it. <laughs> that it. That I'm it. not asking why the babies are up. But every now and again, you're just walking around the house and I'm like, I wonder if she's just going to come and try to suck my dick. Hmm. Guess Who not today. Who looks like that? Yeah, that's crazy. That's, uh, what, that's what you think about during the day? Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> no, dead ass. Like, like the other the day the day that we had sex. Um, the day that we had. Sex. I'll spin off. I, origi- wow, the day. <laughs> Originally, I asked you to give me head. I was like, "Yo, give me some head," and you was like, "No." Nah. I was like, "All right, well, let's fuck." Oh, you said no, nah, no. You you got down. You started giving me head. Got down. Yeah, because oh, really? I was I was sitting on the on the uh, little thing in the chair. Um, but you got down. You started giving head, and I was like, "Oh, this is good." And then I wanted to fuck. Okay, that's not a good. Yeah, I don't that's know. Not a good, I don't uh, know what we're. I don't know. What basically, we're doing. what I'm saying is, give a nigga head every now and again, man. Okay. Don't just say okay. Do it. Okay. Okay. Sir, I don't know what the fuck you want after that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you want after that? Okay, I'm, all right. I hear you. Uh, uh, you know, anonymous write-in question. I didn't write that. She wrote this fucking question. <laughs> um, another person says, squirt on demand. Who the fuck do they think I don't think any of them can do that. What the, can you do, do that? Y'all fucking watch. Like, God, it's hard. It Wait, hard. Well, I don't think that. I don't think it's hard. It's Wait a minute. First just... of all, first of all, I, this bitch is trying well, to win so much. <laughs> so is it bad? <laughs> she th- she got out of school. She got her master's, and she was like, "I got to work towards." Tell it, if I was to get you like one of those uh, things they have in class where it shows a whole vagina, could you take my wife to a classroom and show her how to do the squirt properly? 
Wait, wow. what? What does that even mean? First of all, why do I have to go to a classroom? Because I feel like that would be if less a, like weird for y'all. Leave? For you to, <laughs> I have to go somewhere to point at a chart? <laughs> what are you talking about? Weirdo. Nah, because it's like Kristen does this all the time. I think I'm about to squirt. I'm like, yes, here it go. And then she don't even get a nut. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't think I understand it. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, but I don't think I don't think everybody has. And you said <laughs> on demand. Weird. Don't you also have to work yourself up to that? Wait, because what, what do you mean on demand exactly? Is it well, like, I didn't write it, but... I'm sitting here just <laughs> chilling. Hey, do it right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Or do you mean like I'm you just, know you can let your... I'm going like, you know to do yeah. to have, oh. I'm going to just drink a lot of water and then... Just oh, yeah, be don't pee. do that. I'm saying it's oh, yeah, pee. yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. I'll be okay with that at this point, okay? It's kind of nasty. I did with a little golden shower. In my mind, I'm going to say, oh, this is nut. <laughs> All right, next that person. Is gross. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the next person say, "Talk more. Being negative can sometimes be a good thing." What? I what? guess. I guess during sex. Being like, like rough talk. I Being know. negative, Damn. like you piece of shit. Yeah, like what? You, you have yeah. a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> you should just say degrade me. <laughs> and bitch. Some people like that though. Yeah, I did know a girl that got paid a hundred dollars to send this guy messages over Facebook, calling him like idiot and stuff like that. Really? Like, you got to be fuck. Where are these jobs? She got. <laughs> God, I can do that. All I ain't day never long. seen that on Indeed. Wow, my husband would appreciate that shit. Is somebody not me? That's crazy. Oh man! Wow, um, I hate his all man his transitions. <laughs> yeah. We are on the fucking J Rod show. Like he is, <laughs> we are sitting on a couch. What you Chill mean? Out. We're not in the studio. This has been a theme for the past couple weeks. Yeah. Oh, so what's next, celebrity sex? All right, shoot it to Taylor. God, no. I really want to do voiceovers. No, not at all. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's get into the topics for today. What's the best way to show a person you're interested? Tell them. I mean, that's the best way. <laughs> you saying how would I do it? But the best way? Tell them. I feel like uh, at least being as a man, I think that it's sometimes hard to just tell a woman, hey, I'm interested in you. Yeah, we know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's why we're confused. <laughs> what do you Women want? across the globe now. We what got do you it. want? How do you feel? <laughs> Tell me. You know how much easier your fucker's lives would be if you would just say it? Oh my Why God. don't you say yeah, like, it? We can't ask, and especially if you feel it and we feel like you don't because you haven't done anything. If we ask, we don't want to ask because we feel like we're going to look stupid. That's everybody. Yeah. And then I feel like if a dude is confused, then he's going to say, I don't know. And then the girl's going to be like, oh, shit, I'm not exactly. telling him. And then you guys are both wandering around actually liking each other, but not telling each other. All right, Taylor. <laughs> are you telling your life right now? What the fuck? But what's, what's the best way? Like, what would be the best way as a woman to hear a guy tell you that they're interested or to show you? Because it's, it's less of the words. I think the problem the is actions. that more... I think women, we feel like when someone says they're interested in us, that is a bad thing. That's why men are so shut off. Like, they don't want to talk to nobody because it's like, I don't know. We always, I don't know. We co we come in kind of hot. Do you know? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> like, it's been a lot of women that's like, uh, when dudes are saying, you know, I tried to talk to somebody, da -da -da, most women are like, oh, please don't come and try to talk to me. Why? What else you got to do, bitch? We over here ordering burgers. Like, can I talk to you? Is that okay? I mean, you can actually hold conversations without assuming shit. Like, I don't want to walk up to you and I want to have a adult conversation. But what about the actions? Like, what can a... what? I'm like, definitely more of an actions person. Yeah, so what kind like, of actions do you want to see? I feel like if someone see? could if tell me McDonald's <coughs> and it's a dude that's interested, what can he do in the McDonald's action-wise aside from touching you? What does he bend down? Oh, my God, I dropped my napkin. Oh, oh, my God, were you looking? Did you see that? <laughs> like, what No, 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 not, not somebody random. I mean, like, it's a guy. You're, like, hanging out with someone. In yeah, so like, that's, that's what it is. Okay, cool. Is that what you were looking for this whole time? I was thinking I was like, just anybody, just in general, or no? I think like you're someone you're hanging out with, and you're yeah. getting to a point where you're like, okay, I really like you. I want to like, yeah, like what see actions what's... can he do in order to show you that? Tell you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. All right, you're welcome. Um, 
I don't know. I feel like. <laughs> wow. wow. I want you to show me something. Show me what? I don't know. Well, yeah, no. I, don't know. I mean, me I was something. thinking like specific for me. It's like I really pick up on like how are like how are they doing listening to things that I'm saying. But that like how are they? That might not mean they're interested. That might mean they're just a good person and a f- good friend. So if they like want to go, this is true. Somewhere else. Fuck! I really d- I don't know either. I wouldn't know. Like, and what guys, type of this is why we have problems because no, they don't even know how. I they mean, want I would us want someone them. to tell me. I but just, no, that's I what I'm know. saying. Like that's how I would like if you're going out of your way to be around me. If you're going out of your way to like do little things that are specific to me. Like, I'm someone that if someone was to buy me flowers or something like that, if we're just beginning to hang out, I would take that as a really nice gesture, but that's not going to, like, be like... So flowers is off the list. (laughs) All right, what else? Well, actually, at this point, if someone got me flowers, I would think it was really nice because no one's ever got me flowers except for my dad and Christina. So, like, now I'd be like, okay, that's cute. But it's, like, cute to me because you knew that I've never got, like, you were doing something but so that if they didn't the know only... you never got flowers then you would just look at it as oh <laughs> I guess so. that's fucked up yeah oh I, mean, no. I wouldn't be like oh i just Women like oh that's shit, nice no. i would just say I, th- I would think that would be nice but that's not t- you can get anybody flowers yeah but y'all talking about showing interest i mean that shows interest i guess but like what other action could you do besides what send me edible like do we just change the item like edible chocolate snacks like what other action could you do besides sending a gift? Like, But that's what? what I'm saying. I know some people will, but that might work for somebody though. Like if you're asking me specifically, like I know people very, that have, but you know what I'm realizing though? This Wait is two you different didn't say questions. Anything. You didn't say anything. I know because, well, because I realized there's a difference between like showing an interest versus trying to get someone, like get someone to date you or be with you, right? Kind of. Because like if no. we're front. I think or, one is before the other. Showing interest before, like trying to get them. That's to what I'm saying. That. Like, uh, just someone that you're friends with who's now trying to change, like trying to show you that they're interested friends, in more than that. Coworkers, yeah, but that's uh, different than like what does someone need to do to get once they got you? Yeah, interested. Yeah, right, right. So, so I realize I'm kind of answering that question on the ladder, like okay, yeah, and not so, like just showing me you're interested. Now that you're here, <laughs> <laughs> what actions? Single lady. Why do you? What is that? Her. I would say planning now? something. Huh. Because I feel like I've gotten asked out a lot, and then like nothing comes from it. Hmm. I'll be like, yeah, that'd be great. Let me know when or what you want to do. And it's like, okay, cool. And then mm-hmm. like a conversation will continue, and something will come up again. Like, oh, when when am I taking you out? I'm like, I do you want me to chase you down? Are you the one who asked yeah, me? Where it. are you inviting me to? Okay, I like that, baby. When you were out there frolicking around, I ain't never frolicked. <laughs> I ain't never frolicked a day in my life. You see my calves? I <laughs> to show interest in me. Yeah, telling me I don't. There's nothing I would not know. I mean, I you kind of understand, but it's so hard to read people. Some people are just good people, and a lot of women do mistake that for being interested. But yeah, but telling you, hey, I'm interested in you, or just be I mean, like, not hey, using I those exact to words, but, but, I, but like those were, words. But I would want them. I mean, say, just tell me, like. So there's no yeah, action beside telling you. No. And I what mean, happens if, like, your the example you were using at McDonald's? There's a man behind you who starts talking to you. Then and, they can talk to me. That was the that was the point. Yeah, but like, would you take that as that he was interested in you? If he wanted to, t- that's an interest. That doesn't mean he wants to date me. Yeah, if he came to me and approached me like someone that was interested, yeah, like I wouldn't. I don't. I don't want to assume what somebody is thinking. I want you to let me know. Like I could like you, and that's fine. And if I get to that point, then I'll tell you. And I would just want someone to be in the same place. What like, if they're I just being nice? But that's what I'm saying. Then like if, if you're telling me, then I know you're not just being nice. Then I know that you actually like me. That's what I'm saying. If someone's just doing nice things for me, I'm not going to assume. Oh, oh, like they tell yeah. you, hey, I like you. Well, not those words. Damn, every no, time I- you say it, I would never <laughs> date anybody like that. Um, There's no other way to say it. See, like, hey, I'm interested in you. I mean, I don't know how people talk. Um, I want to take you out to dinner. I kissed the person. I wait. 
What? I um, saw a show that I'm interested. I kissed the person. Oh, so that's, that's just everybody, huh? God, don't do that. Oh, my God. That's everybody? Me. What you mean? That's everybody? If anybody that I was you interested in. You use that same in, move on everyone. You don't just, you don't. Any, it's not a move. It's wow, I how I show. Wow, passion was so intense nah, that you couldn't keep your, your lips off me. That's me what and, I thought. Me and my boy, we both felt the same way, but he had this way of doing it. About you guys each kissed other? each other? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't know where you was no, going. I'm trying to relate. We both felt the same way. Like, you show a person that you're interested by kissing them. But his way was, the way he would do it, he would sit a girl down and he'd be like... Yeah, man, I feel like we got a chemistry going on, but I want to test the chemistry out, and the only way I can do that is if I kiss you. Ew. I don't man. want nobody he, to ever use do, chemistry. He would do that, and I was like, this shit really works? Don't ever fucking like, say chemistry to me. Don't ever do that. I feel a chem- No, bitch, you don't. No, you didn't. No, I did not get to chemistry. Hey, man, they, it worked. It worked with That's a lot of That's the worst thing someone could do don't for say- me. What, Sit me down like a business you? meeting? No, just kiss me. You know how many dodges I've taken <laughs> Or to tell people? me you're going to kiss Do me they? before you kiss me. Like, Because then I have to, if I don't want to, I'm like either, well, because for a while I got stuck. No, I would just be like, well, man, now I feel bad. I guess maybe I should kiss you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh my oh. God. This one time it happened, this girl does not know that th- this story, but there was this girl in my theater program who was so nice but a little bit socially awkward and she had liked had a crush on this guy the entire four years we were in school she told me about it I was like I got you girl wing woman skills 100 I go to talk to him he's like Taylor you're the one I wanted and I was like nah, a, you are you should be at a Disney Channel so, <laughs> oh my god that is so so then I was like shit shit so what I did was I played into it and I was like look so and so really likes you I really think you should just talk to her and he was like well if you let me kiss you and I was like <gasps> Team and player, I, though. Team okay, player. Yeah. Come on. Well, wasn't even. I don't even think he asked. I think I said, look, it can never happen because she likes you. And he goes, well, would you want to kiss or something like that? And I was like, all right, but don't tell her. And so we ah! kissed. <laughs> Yo, Taylor, you are just scandalous, man. Yeah, you're a Disney Channel, but you are at least Lifetime. <laughs> it, oh, my God. And then when we graduated, she wrote me a card. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Thank you for because never doing went, anything th- like kissing the man that I <laughs> she like. She sent you an invoice for your work. That's what that because was. he went to go talk to her, and they ended up making out for like or kissing or something like that. And she was so happy, and I was like, "Oh my god!" He was a, he was a hoe with the lips. I love it. Wow. I'm gonna yeah. make everybody happy out here. I'm gonna get Taylor, and you know, she'll leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why now I don't like guys that just go on fair kiss. I'm like, no, like, ah, someone's watching us. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what I've been through. <laughs> and I also feel like I guess I agree. I guess you got to say something first because yeah. you could get mixed. I mean, I've gone on dates. I didn't know they were dates because I didn't know that the person was actually interested what? in me. <laughs> she's the, she's yeah. the other part of the story. Like, we're talking about how we would feel. No, she's the dude. <laughs> <laughs> she's the fucking damn I didn't know she I, I was, was late I was, oh my god I, I was wearing like shorts and a t-shirt he had like a fucking sweater oh my god <laughs> wait first of all where shirt. were y'all with both of them climates <laughs> 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 what the hell was this oh I forgot you be traveling today. yeah I, I just got back and I was like well oh fuck like the waiter even made a comment and I was like is wow. it cold I I gotta leave. Yeah. I get off in a minute. I just want to know if I should wear my jacket. Wow. I've done that a lot, so I guess you do need to tell me. I've been in full-on relationships, and I've what? <laughs> what the fuck? No found way. out by talking to the guy about another girl, and I was like, "Oh, why didn't you ever like try that?" I goes, "Well, we were together," and I was like, "What? Oh, what the hell did no. we break up?" Wow. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not going to blame it all on you, Taylor. <laughs> I think you just dealt with some dudes that were not aware of the actions you're supposed to take when you're feeling somebody. I think so. Yeah, I'm not going to blame it all on you. Because if you if you think you're dating somebody and the other person has no idea, you're mm. fucking a psycho. Like or... he, I mean, but we did... I, I, I will say I was... I'm getting better at being kind of oblivious sometimes to situ... Like thinking that, oh, we're friends. Like we're hanging out because there wasn't ever a conversation. Yeah. There was never like a... The, that's why somebody yeah, got to tell so you. I'm like, That's why. And I, what I noticed, though, was that it was me and him and then his friend and the girl that he was dating consistently hanging out. And so mm-hmm. to him, also, this was in, it was while I was working at Bush Gardens and it was like a bunch of theater people and like relationships work differently in, in theater. theater. I know. It's I've weird. Been I've been in that. Yeah. Thing. It's like chorus, too. Yeah. I will say that after the first date, 
or the first outing. If I'm mm. feeling the person, excuse me, if I'm feeling the person, then I'm going to tell them straight up, yo, I'm feeling you. Okay, so here's a question about that, too, because I went on a, I guess, second date with someone, and this guy told me that I probably shouldn't have gone if I wasn't interested in him. Because That's then I was real. making him believe that I was interested because I went on the second date. Yo, I mean, let's be real. Yeah. At a certain age, I don't need any more friends. Like, I don't need any more friends of the opposite sex. I got enough friends. Wait a minute. But you network, though, so you have friends through networking. Okay, networking is totally different. They're friends. Network. You don't network at a, at a job... At a dead end job, but with people, you don't network. But you can yeah. be friends with people you work with, and if you're building networks and you're meeting different people that you're interested in as people, and you just want to be around as people. I'm not he hanging out with you by myself. Moved out here, so I'm not hanging out with you by myself. <laughs> Look, I didn't know, and he never said anything to me, and I thought I, I was like, well, he asked me to go out, so why not? I'm not hanging out with you by myself if the first time. But also, what if I change my mind the second time? What if I was like, mm, maybe the conversation, he was awkward the first date. And so I was like, let me give it a second chance. The first time I'm not hanging out with you by myself. If we're just friends, if we're just friends and I don't see anything, I'm not interested. If I ask you to go hang out the first time, it's going to be me and a bunch of different people. Like, yo, let's, let's go. Um, yo, what you doing? Let's, you, you trying to come with me over here? And we all going to hang out. You prefer to do that over just hanging out with the person by themselves first. The Sorry. first time, if I'm if I'm not interested in that. Interesting. Do you know sometimes that gets misconstrued into oh he's, he's bringing me Wants around me his around friends. their friends. Yeah, but during so when I was when I was single, it was very known how single I was, and the conversation surrounded. And I mean that even happened when I got into a relationship. The conversation surrounding me is OJ. Oh, you that's Jay. Jay is this person. Jay is that person. So I already knew that if I bring you around my friends, my friends are going to say whatever they're going to say, especially if they know I'm not feeling you. So it would almost set the scene just in case there was anything that you may or may not have Wait, so you expect for them to go out there and just be like, yo, I mean, uh, he, he don't like you. No, 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 no <laughs> nothing like that. But we would talk about other women. We would talk about they maybe talk he's comfortable with me. Oh my god! Nah, I've never, I've never had the problem. You can't speak for women, though. Well, no, I'm just talking about for myself. Mm -hmm. I've never had a problem where somebody thought I was feeling them, and by the being around your yeah, friends. right. I've been around someone's friends whose friends fucked like set him up kind of by not. Um, oh shit! I thought I thought the opposite. Because I met his friends like super early on to us hanging out, but I was like, oh, whatever. Like he was out with friends. Like it's more casual. But apparently, mm. he didn't bring girls out with his friends. Mm. Oh and god, friends, you hate being the one that one girl. Damn. And the friends would say like, like I remember one of his best friends was like, he lasted a lot longer. Than oh my god. You <laughs> and I was be like, that. what? And then I I had heard from everyone else is like he's never brought someone that's crazy. Around. And I was like, I don't know if I was supposed to know that. Like, yeah, you had to go into that situation knowing that. Do you do you bring people? All the because time? also, I remember the first night I did go out with him and his friends. I called my mom when we were going between places. And I was like, OK, so to me, this seems really casual. But like, should I stay or should I like do? Am I being naive by thinking, oh, we're just all friends hanging out like this is fine that I'm God, here. So my mom was like, well, just go to the other place, get a drink with them and then feel it out and then head out after the drink. And then I ended up sleeping over. We had sex, whatever. It was oh, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I felt it out. Yeah. Then I felt him. Yeah. Hey, guys, let me run out and take care of my throat <laughs> real quick. Maybe. She's dying. Um, well, while, while she's doing that, I have a question for you. Since oh, you God. Said Don't when you were... Why are you leaving me with him by I'm myself? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying that when you was hanging out with old boy that you started thinking about your dad. Oh, jeez. I promise it's not going to go any, anywhere <laughs> weird. Um. How have your parents influenced you the way that you love? What a weird fucking segue. Because now all I can keep thinking about it <laughs> is the fact that you had to bring up the dad and sex thing. <laughs> well, that's probably one way I even love, <laughs> how I love. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know. What do you mean? Like, like for instance, um, my parents have never been real lovey-dovey, touchy-feely, and I'm not like that. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. You know, like I do it sometimes, and I feel like that's something that I just do. But for the most part, it's not a real romantic type situation day to day. You know what I mean? And that's what, unfortunately, I don't even say unfortunately, but that's what I got off of my parents, just watching them. Like, what type of things have you got? You Have you got, have you, I'm really tired. <laughs> um, what, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I just was going to see if you were going to get yourself out yeah, of that. I, what type of things have you, I, I can't. Go yeah, ahead. I got it. Uh, I think that's, I think similar that, like, my parents I mean, they were what they they weren't like they weren't like that lovey. They weren't like kissing each other, telling each. We don't even say I love you to each other, uh-huh. really. I could probably tell you how, like the times that my parents have said I love you. Or I've said it back to them, or I've seen them. Not until I was an adult and my dad was in this last deployment have I seen my parents be lovey with each other. Really? And I'm yeah. And he went when I was twenty six. Yeah. So in, like hmm. the last four years this was the first time I've seen. Or heard them like write messages to each other saying "I love you" and "I miss you." I'm like, the fuck is that shit? <laughs> they like each other. And yeah, I was like, oh, I guess they did. And my dad is can be so vulgar sometimes. So like, even with like he he'll make comments about sex. Like, oh yeah, I got us to Japan because I laid it down on your mother before we left, or some <laughs> stupid gross shit. So like that was always like. It's so just, are you gross I, like that sometimes? <laughs> probably or <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't know it seems really disconnected and I think it like it's I've had issues in relationships about that where I've been told that I'm really hard to read mm-hmm. like uh, yeah like I remember someone telling me it was really hard for him to tell if I wanted him to kiss me and I was like the fuck why just do it but you just said earlier that you didn't want somebody to just do it I didn't say that <laughs> I said that I didn't want someone because someone else was coming into it with the intention that they were going to want something, that that was what the sale was going to be. And that if I like, that's not how I was going into that situation. But like, if I'm read the room, like I don't, I don't, I think I maybe do come off a little standoffish because I am uncomfortable with like being like super romantic and stuff. Mm -hmm. And if someone doesn't make me feel comfortable or make me feel like, they're one hundred percent want that from me, then it, I'm probably not going to give it to them. Which that. is something I guess is an insecurity maybe I have in like relationships I or think stuff. Kristen is like that a little bit, to tell you the truth. Because at first, I didn't think she knew what lovey dovey or anything was, and I think once she got comfortable or realized that I wasn't going anywhere, she kind of broke out of her shell, and then from there, it was like, oh. Like, yeah. <laughs> You like me. I don't like that you like me, <laughs> son. Like, back to fuck off. <laughs> it actually took me a while to warm up to that, actually. Like, yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I, it's not that I don't want to, or like, I don't. I remember actually having this argument with somebody, and they were, uh, they were telling me that they like romantic stuff, like that stereotypical romantic shit. That isn't that also isn't totally my jam, but like I would go for it if that's what someone wanted to do. And of course, I feel like part of maybe why I don't like it's because it's never really properly been presented to me. Right, right. So we were having this argument about what was going on, and he was like, "I don't think you like that stuff." He was like, "Why would?" He's like, "You don't want to go to dinner," and I was like, "Why would I not want you to take me out to dinner? Like, why would that not?" But I get it though. I, I completely get it. I just it. don't know how to express, like, I just need to have a 100% green light that you that's the energy that you want from me because I guess it's something that's not normal so I don't want to put, that's something that's very vulnerable for me if I'm going to So what would like a person that. have to do to give you that green light? In that light? situation, he'd have to tell me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I might need to. Tell me you want me to like you. Yeah. <laughs> and I will like you. Tell me to be softer and there we go. I just, I need, I need... You know, just hold my hand through that one a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's not many times, but you talking about this, you've turned into this little girl real quick. Oh, Jesus it's Christ. So, <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Because like, <laughs> it makes me feel weird. Oh, man. Kristen, what about you? What type of... I was about to say, I don't what, know. What have... How have... <laughs> how have your parents influenced you, influenced the way that you love? Oh, God. I didn't know it was going to come back and be deep. <laughs> Just had some cinnamon roll in my breath. Um, my parents have been together for 
thir- almost 30 years, right? So um, I guess the longevity, and I see how they care for each other. Um, and the fact that my dad is my quote-unquote stepfather, and no one would ever know that. So I take that into the way that I love all my kids and just love at like my extended family and everybody like I I don't know I just love people no one doesn't does no one deserves to not be loved I don't know there's some people I mean I mean they they should have had it maybe before like or longer periods of time. I don't know maybe they didn't have enough but I think everyone deserves it so I don't know if any of that made sense but. I think I also you saying that's making me think of my parents um have been together for a really long time and also together in a way that like does not make sense so i think (laughs) what the hell does that mean it's giving me a really high standard (laughs) because they didn't know each other for very long before they were pregnant with me yeah and they were both very young and then moved away from their parents very young lost their parents really young Mm. moved to a different country really young with like three or four like there are so many but they were that was not even learning. 30 by the time that I was in like middle school. Maybe they, they'd been through so much. It was like, I don't know what the fuck the rest of the world. got. <laughs> the rest of these years ain't got nothing on these first couple of startup <laughs> years. I think that's good too. Though. So I think sometimes I'm just like, okay, well if they figured it out, I can't be that off. Yeah. Like something. Like, damn, I something just live like, here with yeah. no kids. It's, it's like, it'll work itself out somehow. Fine. Yeah. All right. I don't know what was your answer. I guess I'll I'll listen back. Go ahead. No. I, <laughs> um, it's time to get into the states, the fetishes and I states. I thought he was about to say his answer. No, well, he was like, no, I, I, no, but he said no. I, oh yeah, I did. yeah, yeah. It's time to. You gonna edit that deep breath you took in between no. saying that? Yo, I'm so exhausted. Mm. Like my eyes. Okay, it's well. hard to keep them up. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> we can wrap it up. Come on. It's time to get into the mm-hmm. states. Each week we pick another mm-hmm. state to talk about their fetish. If you're new to the podcast, uh, and this week, I, just, you, I don't even know where we were at. We are in Colorado. I didn't Massacre. want to say to stay. I don't have. I don't have luck with that. Did you think it was Colorado? Yep. I don't even know what <laughs> other state it could have been. Hey, don't worry about. Yeah, hey, neither do what I. Is it? What? What is it? Masochism. Masochism. Yes. What the fuck is masochism? Fuck! What? I knew you didn't know. God damn it! I really didn't <laughs> Taylor was looking at you like, "Are you gonna make me pull my phone out?" <laughs> Are you don't want to tell Google anybody it? shit before. Oh wow! I got five text messages. You know what? Uh, and, and, and she went to go look at her text messages before looking at the that's definition. That's fucked up. <laughs> no, fuck this. Fuck this recorded shit. Masochism. Um, so, I know that's the M in the BDSM. Uh-uh, masochism. The Wait, what, Taylor? Can you read? Taylor, you gotta read it out loud for the class. Okay, so it... I can't read this word for some reason. I'm I'll, not, I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. The de- derivation? Der- no, the... Derivation? Der- no, no, no. No, that's not the word. Der- derivation? Derivation? <laughs> <laughs> derivation? Please, Deri- please edit de- this out. Anyway, de- just go to... The- Y'all yeah, Floyd I'm Mayweather I said, <laughs> said it all the ways that you can say it. Go ahead. Uh, of sexual gratification from being subjected to being subjected to physical pain or humiliation by oneself or another person. Compare sodomize. Yeah, I don't care that much about that. Sodomy. That's that submissive. Okay, I'm sorry. Pleasure being abused or dominated. A taste. Now, for what suffering. was you about to say? I was going to ask. So, wouldn't smacking be part of that? I guess. And you like that? Yeah, it's cool. So you do kind of like masochism? No, it was cool. I didn't say it was like my go-to. So what the fuck is your go-to, Kristen? I don't know. I like rough, but I, I like I like. She wants to be cuddled while you fuck her. I want. <laughs> I fucking it. That would be a great mashup. But I, oh my god, it's I, like a uh, branch and trolls. He's like, we're gonna. Oh my god, party. Oh, was, yeah. There. Okay, we gotta stop. <laughs> we are we are not sponsored by trolls. What would be your perfect sex i don't know i have two different I, I have two different i like i like both like i like completely rough sex and i like completely slow sex 
So like not a mashup. I like both of them equally. If if that, yeah, I want it to be completely like we're breathing and it's just like that. And I just made it sound really unsexy, but we've had that before. <laughs> and then, or I want it to just be from go, just a. I don't even know which one is which. It's the two psh, different. Psh, psh, or, or, or. I'm saying it's two <laughs> different fu- things. Like if you if we start off like sensual, I kind of want it to be like that. And then if we start off like, hey, come over here and give me that pussy. So there's not one that you rather more. No, just like uh, I mean I, I like sensual sex. That's only because I'm a you know I, I like to feel. I like to fucking cuddle. Of course I like sensual sex. Okay. I don't like how you say you you say okay like you taking notes. But I am. I know, but the it's fuck? like, and it's always, but it's always the okay, like, oh, something's in store. You know what I mean? No, nothing's in store. I'm just taking notes. You know, when you ask somebody for like, what do you want for Christmas? And oh, it's okay, like, I want I a pony. You. You're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ain't getting no goddamn pony. pony. <laughs> like, I mean, that's how you say it. <laughs> White women love pony. Just figure that out. The song? Yes, the song. Didn't know white women love pony the way they do. But yeah. white women love pony. I mean, genuine was real ethnically ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get that word out. Wow, that was hard. I knew I was going to say it, but what, I was like, it's probably not I want to know so what it is about the song Pony that white women love so much. Magic it, Mike. Yes, it, it's... Is that what it is? Yeah, it has the it has a strip club feel. And he's dancing on a... Ain't he dancing on a bar or some shit in the video? He's dancing video. in a garage. Yo, I knew after he was like, I, I probably blended in so many videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's dancing doing some carpentry shit yeah, he and he's all it. everybody had never like uh, we've never wait, seen anyone is dance it that before. scene or does he he does it twice right because he does it on stage Damn, at the you end you asked me multiple times oh i'm talking about the video for the song oh sorry Thank you. Uh, <laughs> i knew she was doing it i knew we was having the wrong conversation do you like masochism taylor you got to think about it <sighs> because i really like Getting tattoos or piercings. Mm. Okay. I like getting tattoos. Yeah. Like, would you do like nipple clamps during sex? You've done that. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't really like it. Well, why would you do it? Who did that to you? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? So I, I was bought nipple clamps for a Christmas gift. Um, me and the girl had just started talking, and she knew that um, we just started talking again. We had talked years. Anyway, prior. nigga. Um, <laughs> and shit. And, um, I don't care. need a backstory. I'm sorry. And she she got me some nipple clamps, and because she knew I like my nipples played with, and they vibrated, and I put them on your nipples. I, yeah. We've talked about that before. Your nipples randomly vibrate? Mm, the clamps. Oh, Taylor, the clamps. The clamps. Where were you five seconds ago? <laughs> it was all in the same sentence. I thought the clamps, I don't know. Oh, yeah, and the they, the they was in reference to the, the yeah. clamps, don't not worry the about nipples. It. All right, we're going to. Yeah, they vibrate. You know, I'm, in my head, I'm thinking of like clothespins on your nipples. That's the fuck how it feels. Uh, yeah, no, that's not fun. Ew. And it caused pain. <gasps> And I was like, but I kept them on because I was like, she really felt good about this gift. Fuck and af- and afterward, I said, you know what? Maybe it just wasn't my night. I'm going to try these again. I would never and let you. And the next you... time I tried them was with you. <laughs> and I re- you see, they have to come back out yeah, they since. they didn't. They didn't. I thought you just <laughs> forgot they was there. I was like, I don't get it. But I wouldn't want it, but okay, cool. I don't like that type of pain. I like, so what kind like of pain? being like bitten or something. Like in the moment, but not, yeah. but not like a five minute bite. <laughs> like, all right, bitch, <laughs> draw blood. I'm okay. I'm good. I don't. I mean, I don't want. <laughs> it's like a baby. You just pop it like get, get your hands. Shoo. <laughs> Did you shoo a baby just? Now? <laughs> yeah, I don't want like a five minute. Like, oh, oh, that's aggressive. But don't like. Ah, I can be dangerous. No, I don't want. To. I just want to fuck. I just want to have fun. Or like, uh, you know, I would do like the waxing shit over like being clamped or stabbed. I really? still haven't done that. Yeah. I told you. Well, you said you don't want to do that, though. No, I never said that. You didn't say you didn't want to do hot wax. You said it was stupid. I said I'm scared. <laughs> 
You said it was stupid. I'm scared. I mean, if you like it how it is, then fine. I mean, I could try. Here's the thing. Man, I, it's gone. Like, the hair is gone. It's just a couple, you know? The terrain just ain't as smooth. <laughs> it's not nasty. Wow, it's like regular, like, you know? I will try whatever you want me to try on you. You just have to be vocal and say No, it. I was talking about a professional putting wax, not you. Just, <laughs> I don't want you giving me my first bikini wax. I don't oh. want that. Oh, yeah, bikini wax? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, y'all was talking about candle wax? Mm. I don't know why this conversation just made me remember that my boss might have camera footage of... <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's deleted by now because those things can only store. Uh, 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 stuff I want to know so what long. it is. Camera footage of what? Um, so I have this thing where I've like really wanted to have sex in a car, like in a parking lot, and at my old studio there was like a little alley in the parking lot, and I finally convinced said person to do it. They like pulled around, like no fuck, there's a camera in that corner and I was like shit they're not gonna see it no one looks so he was in his car I was in my car and there was this whole like game back and forth of like what I had to do so that he would let me into the car <laughs> so that we could have sex oh my god and I <laughs> someone definitely saw that have you gotten a raise recently <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize where we were at I didn't think there was a camera anymore and I thought it was only in the corner that he had pulled away from. Oh, I know there's from. definitely footage of me somewhere. But Not like with a me. bank. Like a ba- we we talked about that before. We talked about that. How you get remat? Cuz every time I think about the things you've done, it makes me wonder why the fuck haven't you asked me to do anything? COVID. Then fuck COVID. <laughs> before, after, during like you don't ask me like you know I was pregnant for nine months, yeah, right? But you don't ask. Oh, you know I had a you know I had two babies come out my stomach. You don't ask me to I, do anything. I had a whole cesarean section. Whatever. I'm just so <laughs> mine in general. You don't ask me. I to can't do ask anything. you now. Cause COVID. Where are we gonna fuck? Can I finish my sentence? Mm-hmm. You don't ask me to do anything sexually with you. Like there's. I feel like I could give you lame dick. I could give you great dick. And to you, it's just like, whatever. Just give me what you got. Like, I want to know what your desires are. Well, that took you two weeks to ask. That was deep. I tried to give that to you before. Did you? Yeah, I did. You tried to put that in? I tried to help him out before with the whole orgasm thing. I was like, why don't you ask her what she needs from you? But I've I've I thought I've asked that, but desires is But I don't know. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't know what it is. So we should just try a bunch of shit. Okay. You see? You, you, you see? Wait, what, what happened? It's Wait, like it's like no. Taylor with love. Like, it's whatever. No, I'm no, I said it more like that. Okay, that sounds like a great that sounds like an obvious idea. I don't know what you would have response. Okay, well, we should try other stuff. I don't. So what things would you want to try? Just about to say, I don't know. I know. But it was your idea. I was just hoping. But it was your idea. Nigga, it's for you. What things would you like to try? I've tried a lot of shit. Like what? <laughs> Nipple clamps. Nipple clamps. I'm not, doing that. I'm not doing that. Next one. Next. No, I've I've just tried. Like things. what? What are you saying? Try like try what? Anything like. Like sticking a broom up your ass. Nope. Next. I mean, that's, I'm spinning ideas out. <laughs> <laughs> they are terrible ideas. Teacher. The te- We did talk about that. We talked about that. I even said, I don't have, I want the outfit though, if I do that. I don't want to just be like regular public school. I got want to be a private school. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want I my just, regular clothes. I just want you to approach sex. Ooh, water. Water. That's fun. I mean, what? We've done a shower a lot. No. In a pool? No. Like, which is water. <laughs> what about water, Taylor? I'm not Drinking getting my, water I'm not getting my matches what? does wet. that mean? I mean, what it does not involve mean? getting the mat. Like, your surroundings a little damp. Wait, what are you... Just a sprinkler in the room? What are you Ooh, talking about? Drugs. No. <laughs> Wait. Well, psychedelic sex. We Blow tried your mind. that. Oh, God. The psychedelics didn't work. No, you yeah. need you need some... You need the good shit. You need the hippie shit. I know some hippies. Yeah, Taylor. 
That's <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Taylor's hippie we know. She's definitely a gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But she yeah, was, I really, I really want you to, and you don't have to do it right now. Thank. But I just want you to sit down and think <laughs> about it. Like write down a couple of a couple of things. Like yo. That seems cool. Yo, I, I wouldn't mind trying that. You know, things that you haven't done that you think may excite you. Okay. And bring it to me, and we'll make it happen. Okay, Professor Ogilvy. Yo, don't ever call me Wear your that glasses. Again, you should have had your, you should have had your glasses you. on. Um, Why do you have your glasses? That's sexy. That's what I want you to do. Wear your glasses. Condolences. I just asked me. Oh, oh, there's go. nothing there. Okay, let's keep it moving. Uh, <laughs> do you want to say Debo died? Did we say that last? No, we didn't oh, say that damn, last. Damn, it just happened. Yeah, yeah damn, D- Debo did that. That was crazy. And COVID took him out. So fuck COVID. Fuck everybody. That's... I just want to... Did you guys know that... Fuck these private parties, everything. That is really... I don't think it hit us as much as... I don't think it hit me that, that much. Like, I'm so used to him being a staple. And since we've been in the house, it just feels like so many people have died and things have happened yes, outside. It does feel like that. Like, people you know are just I mean? dropping and just like, well. Yeah, because we're still, we can't do anything. Like, yeah. not that we were going to do anything, but you understand what I'm saying? No, like, I it get feels it. like a whole other world outside. Like, that's crazy. Mm. Um. Also, Charlie Pride died. Charlie Pride died. Uh, the first, first. African American in the Country Music Hall of Fame. Bam, look at me, knowing facts. Mm-hmm. Mm, but no, nah, that's fucked up because COVID killed him too. Fuck COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I found out one of my clients have COVID. Not that I've seen here? recently. Not that I've seen. I haven't seen. Every it's like, episode. It's Every like episode. I haven't seen. I, haven't I know seen, somebody seen. is like, why the fuck is she still there? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, not things that have seen. nothing to do with sex. Cleveland uh, baseball team dropped the Indians nickname. Good for them. That's dope. I know I've seen people like, oh my God, just change it. Yes, the shit wasn't right in the beginning, so change it. What's wrong with that? Oh, also, someone lied to me. You. Oh, shit. About About what? The Washington football team? That's not their name. Yes, it It is. is It's their temporary name. That's not their permanent name. It's still a name. Yeah, it's, it's, it's their it's name. A name. No, but we talked about it. I was like, that's what they came up with. And you were like, yeah, yeah. that's what they're going with. That's what they're going with for Even right, right now. now no, it's like literally like for just for the season. That's what they say. You think they can come up with it that quick? But yeah, because they're obviously are brainstorming it right now, too. What would you call them? <laughs> the red team. <laughs> <laughs> the red team. <laughs> Red team. The pimple Watch team. the red team. <laughs> the red team. The pimple. <laughs> the pimple team. Uh, what else? What else happened that has nothing to do with sex this week? Nothing really. Uh, this is stupid. You can't spell. This, I can't. No, this not is you. Dumb. <laughs> I have been. Oh damn. He also, yeah. I'm sorry if y'all were on the Instagram, which y'all should be following anyway. Um, please forgive the typos. They were all done <laughs> by our moderator. <laughs> The runner like, of the show. Oh my god! You gotta but you stop know what's fucked writing, up? Like, typing without editing, man. I what's also tired. fucked up though is that you saw it and you just let you it know, go. I told him about it. She did, but the views started going up. I was like, "Fuck it." I told him. Obviously, they don't care that I much. I told him so. about it. <laughs> you know, he don't care. Okay, so this is random, but I've been on um, Chance and Jeremiah's Christmas album. That shit is so good. Like I'm here I mean, so chilling. you you played you played it while chilling. we were in the house, and I was just like, "It's something about Chance the Rapper." Why? I respect him as a lyricist. I like him, but I have to be in a certain mood to listen to Chance. I love I. I well, I you know I've been listening to uh, Toby. Toby. I, no, same, Toby. Same, yeah. same thing with him. I have to be in a certain mood. Like there are some artists that are super dope, but. No matter how good they are, I have to be in a certain. You know what? Mood. I think I'm like that as much as I love rap, and you know that. Like as much as I love hip hop, like I have to be in a mood to listen to certain because I can't just listen to anything. Like I got to listen to a specific artist or a specific album at a specific time. But I can put on '90s R&B all day and not be in any mood and just be like, I need some background music and just play it and be fine. But I love live music too, though. So I'll play. I don't know. I've been on them hard, and their album just dropped too. So, not that we're promoting, but what? Did you have something to say, Taylor? You no, guys? Sorry, that I'm was so that was internal. Mm-hmm. That accidentally became external. 
Uh, the McRib is back. That's how breathing works. <laughs> Man, shut the fuck up. I'm not talking about that damn. <laughs> I just want you to taste it. Oh, that's sounds- why. A McRib right now. Fucking barbecue shrimp toast. I'm not eating that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating that. I've bullshit. never had a McRib. To be Neither honest, I think I. I did have a bite of one because I was like, what the fuck is this about? I think that shit is good. But I didn't I I think it's good. Do they still sell them now? Yeah. Yeah. It's I McRib. think it's good, but no, I like right now. I don't want to like Yeah, I think it's good, but I just I don't Order I'm not going out my way. Why you do it? Uh-huh. The fuck? I'm so <laughs> hungry. I'm actually about to cook after this. So <laughs> Uh, what are we watching? Um, I watched the teacher that's on Hulu right now. It's on FX, but it uh, shows on Hulu the next day. Uh, it's about a teacher fucking her student. Great. And I was like, dude, I always wanted that to happen oh to me. God. You know what I did? Cause I came in for like a couple minutes and saw it. I like that. They show both sides of actual, like how they're feeling. Right. Usually it's like a parody, like, Oh, hot teacher. And it's wrong. But it's like the conflicts that they went to, to get to that point. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. It was a, it's a really good series. It's not over. I think I got like one episode left now. Um, really dope. And like it, the whole time I'm just like, dude, why didn't I ever get proposition right, right. to get fucked by a teacher? Was it me? Was I not cute enough? Yeah. Like, you ever thought about that? that's cute? Like, why didn't... Were you elite enough? Yeah, because I feel like in order to fuck your you student, that student had to be, like... But how many teachers were fucking students in your school? You don't like, know. You that's got, the point. You oh. don't... Exactly. You don't know. <laughs> that's fucked up. You think that's... You do you think that I think every school were, has at least one fucking incident. Usually the PE teacher. No, ah, I don't, I don't they know. don't have always the lose. PE teacher. But, but that's because the girls I feel like are every single so school wrong. has a PE teacher story. I have a PE teacher story. Not me personally, but my school God, had a PE Taylor. teacher story. I did. Well, I no. think we did. No, I think we had an issue with a coach or something. I don't remember that. It's that always was probably something. Me. No, I, and I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it's a pro. It has to be the PE teacher, but. You put in. You're risking your livelihood. Like in in the uh, show, she she even says that she's like, "I'm risking everything. I'm risking my life to be with you." That's crazy, Dick. Do you hear me? Like, and I'm like, "Yo, nobody thought I was going to risk life." Well, they, I was about to say something though. It, becoming an adult has slightly put something in perspective for me. Some of the like graduating and having friends that are teachers. And like no, and also being a oh teacher for a second myself. You think about how young everyone is. Oh, you were really you're really young. Like I met someone out at a bar the semester the summer before I started teaching. And there was a whole we whatever hung out throughout the night. And then at the end of the night I found out how old he was and that he was between two schools and one of which was that I was teaching at. And I was for the love of God, do not. How old was he? He was like like he was transferring, so maybe like nineteen or twenty, and I was like twenty. Wow, five. Yeah, yeah. That shit is crazy. Not even in college. But also, I don't want to fuck nobody that's teaching me anything because I would disrespect them in class. Like, bitch, shut up! You ate my pussy last night. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 fuck you, bitch. I gotta be sucked by dick. Oh, I was nervous people. about that. Like now, even running into them. I knew a teacher. I knew in college. I knew a, I knew a teacher that was fucking all of the chicks. That's crazy. And I was jealous as fuck until I fucked one of the girls that fucked him. And you felt like you had something. I was like, oh, nigga, I fucked her too. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I, I felt so good because I'm like, that's power. Look, you ain't never say that to him, but every time you walk past him, your chest got a little you tight. You goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when she told me, yeah, so and so uh was mad because I told him um he we couldn't meet up tonight. And I was like, God damn right you can't meet up. I'm gonna give you this dick. I'm gonna give you this worthy dick. I gave, I gave her the best <laughs> dick of my life that night. You goddamn uh, right, you man. Tell him that. <laughs> damn. Um That's we crazy. also watched safety on Disney. On I'm Disney so mad Plus. I don't have my phone right now. So I wanna say the names. What a weird I know that's a of weird shows. it is because they're both about schools. But anyway, um, <laughs> Ew. so I know that was that was <laughs> terrible. God, this one nobody's fucking teachers. Yeah, God, uh, people are stupid. It's if on they Disney. listen to this podcast enough, they know that we don't we don't do anything at all but sit home. Um, 
I don't know the name of the actor's name, but I know he's on like All American or something. Derek Luke Jr. He's <laughs> not. I know we said he was a mix of Derek Luke and um, Young Lorenz Tate. <laughs> but whoever this guy is that is leading this movie, first I went into it and I watched the first couple of minutes and I was like, oh, this shit's about to be like a Disney Channel special event, like some bullshit. Oh my God, I miss those movies. Though. I do, I do. And they're still on Disney Plus. You should yeah, look. But they're not the same when you watch it as an they adult. They still don't have Jet Jackson, so fuck them. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we're, we were watching it and I was like okay whatever but as the story started to develop and then like you just started seeing they they felt like real people they did and I mean it was based on a true story yeah I mean but, but they felt like like the guys that played brothers really felt like brothers they were whoever cast that shit was fucking amazing yeah. he was so I so cried. good him and the everybody the mom you was talking about yo the mom yeah until she came out with that uh, that slavery line. <laughs> that last line. Then I was like, oh, she been in Harriet. I'm telling you. She been in Harriet. If you watch the movie, she's going to say a line. It's probably one of the three lines she has in a movie. If you and are. And you're going to be like, That's Nah, no, I line. want you to DM us if you find yeah, a line. D- <laughs> you win a prize if you find a line. <laughs> but they were so, oh my God. Like, I felt everything they were going through. You cried twice. I did. I cried. I got right to the edge of one. I was edging. I was edging. <laughs> That's not what. Do you like edging? No, that's that mean. Doesn't that mean you don't? Yeah. No. Edging. What does that mean? I can't come get, now you on purpose. You think trauma. I want to fake myself <laughs> out? Wow. You get right to the part where you're about to come and then you stop. That's mean. Mm. But it makes the nuts. No, I've so done. Much I mean, I've done it. End. I've done it, and it's great. But like, not like a regular thing. <laughs> Yeah, but doesn't that suck when you try to do it and it like slips? And they're like, oh, too late. Too late. Hey, yeah. it fell off the cliff. My bad. My bad. I am sorry. Got the sheets all wet. It's I'm like, sorry. fuck, I wasn't. I didn't mean to. I was trying to tease you. Taylor, saying, did you watch anything? Um, I started watching Tiny Little Things on Netflix. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. I said I wanted to watch it. It's like I this didn't. dance um, series. It's very like Pretty Little Liars meets... Center Stage. Center Stage meets porn. Because there's a lot of butts. Now I really got to watch it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? Speaking of porn... Wait, what? No. I, yo, I meant, I meant to bring this up. Pornhub uh, stop. Well, MasterCard and Visa stop working with Pornhub, but that's not the kicker. The kicker is they took Easy. off all unverified accounts. That eliminated damn near half of their content. Oh. Like it went from, it was 14 million wow. yesterday or two days ago it was at 14 million. Now they're at like, Seven million videos. Or Wait, how do you know this? Huh? How do you know this? And why did this that. happen? What? Um, I'm not exactly sure why this happened, uh, but I think there were complaints and everything. And I'm not sure why Mastercard and Visa pulled out. Well, wow. I was getting charges from whatever the third party company is that uh, bills them. Bills and I had I how had did they cont- get, how did they get you? I don't know, but it was under an email that wasn't. I had to get a new card and everything. It was under an really? email that wasn't. Yeah, yeah, a lot of maybe people. that maybe that's why because they sent me the. I was like, that's not my email. You know, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, maybe that's why because remember I had I had problems with my card yeah. like two. I had to get like two or three different cards. Well, mm-hmm. and then what was also weird is when I contacted them, they. They sent me an email saying, oh, you, you know, we'll make sure this account is closed. We'll return, blah, blah, blah. Two months later, I still, I had gotten charged again. And so then I had to contact them again. Damn. Did you get your money back? I did. Oh, I finally, God. I did end up getting the money back. But all I know is with all these unverified accounts going off of there, it's probably going to eliminate a lot of videos that I watch. <laughs> so I might have to switch over. Because sometimes the super glossy ones, like, you can tell they're fake. Yeah, that's exactly why. It's like, I don't believe this at all, bitch. That does yeah. not feel like that. they be just trying like, to act. It just look like a cartoon. They so well manicured. It really is, man. Oh, it really God. does look like a cartoon. Nah, I need it's a scar weird. The lighting is too good yeah, it's like, too good let me see real <laughs> mascara running off your face except for instead of what the makeup that artist shit drew turns there. you on it's just real life yeah you feel like you could be in a room yeah man I, that's what it like, feels that's like that's me that's me that's how i fuck like you feel relatable <laughs> you don't feel re- you don't try to relate I, I usually don't like watching very very fit people damn 
I want to see a little bit of uh Oh, they definitely ain't gonna have that up there. They don't like have real people in porn. I know, which is fucked up. <laughs> like this is this you is You ain't never gonna be able to see yourself. I really might be leaving porn. <laughs> Representation up. matters. Yeah. It does, man. <laughs> Say it loud. All right. No. I will say that did up. change strip clubs for me. Strip clubs? What, when I went um, to a strip club and seeing everybody some, look like... Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it's an, <laughs> inspirational. It there is you go. Come bit. on. Come on, Inspire. I, like, I was like, yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Look at her You're upper like body me. strength. That's what I said. I really said that. And to this day, I need to find out who that bitch was that had her leg on that pole. And that's all she was hanging from on the ceiling. <laughs> I was like, that is the best. I, I got to figure out who does who she do legs with. <laughs> what kind of exercises are there? Are you yawning right now? Come on. All right. Let's get to the, let's get to the. Listener the question. End. Oh. Um, listener question. Each week we, uh, we have you guys send in listener questions. You can hit us up on our email. Uh, and then we have sexpod at gmail.com. Or you can go on the Instagram and just DM us. Um, today the question is how important is it to be the one in control in your relationship at any given moment? You should. Damn. I mean, that's. I mean, stumped y'all. No, it's, it's odd because I don't think that one person should have complete control over anything. Well, he said at any given moment. I know, but then that means you're taking control away from somebody else. I think y'all should both be able to control the situation. Or where it's not a. You. Di- look, yeah. I think it's it's a team know, effort think, if you're in a relationship. I think in a relationship, control is important um, for both sides. And I think controlling. I think it matters when it comes to controlling the things that you're good at or, you know, for balance in your relationship. No, I don't think I think that that's still a team effort, though, because you could come away from it thinking that, you know, more than the other person and feeling like, let me take control over this. But you you don't know. You're you're trash at math. But you don't take control (laughs) over it. It's more of a thing that. You're trash at math. Well, I can tell you that. Right, exactly. So I control finances. But you said something that you feel like you're better than. Yeah, you're math. better. At. I'm better at math than you. So is that the only thing in the relationship? Well, no. Well, you know that, what I mean? that's why he said at any given moment, you got to keep that in mind at any given moment. I don't so think- it doesn't have to be full control over the entire relationship. But I think that is important for uh, each person to have control over certain things. Well, the way the way that I that I read this because if you're explaining it like that that's just you being a person if you are in a situation where you're good at something then of course you're gonna you know do whatever like you're you're gonna take the lead but but I don't think that all relationships are like that I think some relationships are one person has complete control over everything whether they're good or bad at it it's like I'm so that's the question that's stupid no a relationship isn't control some relationships are well that's dumb I don't think that's dumb why not? Some, Why would you look want to at, look be at, in a relationship you have complete control over? You might want to be in a relationship that somebody has complete control. So you want a child? No, I don't. No, I'm. You might be a person where you don't want to control anything in a relationship. But there are people weird. like that. I don't think that's weird. I, I think, think that's what the Im- question is, though. I don't know. I think. But, I mean, I do think the question might be a little worded a little yeah. weird, but I think that. Well, at least for me, it's important um, as far as control is that. I'm with someone or um yeah that the person that I'm with that I trust that they could take control and that they feel like in those times that it's not because I I couldn't if that makes sense I mean I think that's just being a person like if you know someone's weak at something no but I'm not talking about a specific thing I'm just in general because I feel like you're going to go through a lot of shit obviously in life and I want to know the person that I'm with if there's a point where I just can't handle right. things that I can trust that they can take control of the relationship or That's vice versa important. I would want to be able I would want the person I'm with to trust that if things get a little shitty like i'll be able to take control but taking of it. control of the relationship that's not real that's not a thing how are but you it is but, for some people. but how do you take control of a relationship like if you're down that's not take you're not steering or it's not a car you don't steer a relationship it's no yeah, one can take no because if i'm sad or i'm weak 
or like I have something going on, you helping me is not taking control of the relationship. Yes, it, it is. is. It's no, like it, if you're if you're drunk, right? If we're talking if we're talking about a relationship. But let's go back to you. But listen to what I'm ahead. saying. If we're talking about a relationship, no one you can't one person can't take control of a relationship. You both have some input in where that relationship is going. You know what I mean? So no, we're just not talk, always. Okay, so. What, no, you always have input on where the relationship I don't, is going. I don't think that's I don't think that's accurate for I every think you relationship. Do if, you're being, relationship. if you're being honest with you and your partner about where you're that like you always have a say so in where you're going in the relationship. You but, can have a but, say so well I But building I have me it, up as a person if I am sick or if I am going through something, that's not taking control of the relationship because regardless I think if you're helping me, you love me. The 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 you don't like the word, word control. I was about to say control because I was going to say I don't necessarily care for that word either and this is going to be a weird example but I spoke to a professional about this oh god <laughs> <laughs> not, not. <laughs> there was an experience that I've had taking drugs which we've talked about so a professional what I spoke to a professional about this experience I had and I was honest that she there was substance. the job is you didn't ever say the job it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> they just have a master's like you they, they do <laughs> actually <laughs> and a PhD so <laughs> I trusted their input yes. but I felt like one of the experiences that I liked and I felt like the reason why the two of us continued to do that with each other and like in the atmospheres that we did, because there was a trust about like the control of not going off the deep end. That first time that we did it, I felt like helped me build trust for him because you are your brain is going through this funky thing that sometimes you can't easily lose control of. And so I had even explained it to her. I was like, I wouldn't say it was a control thing, but there was like this exchange of power when the other person needed it to be able to get through the trip okay without going yeah, to that left yeah. part of their brain. Yeah. So that's how I would kind of explain it. It's not so much like you're taking control of me or taking control of what we're doing, but we're like balancing our like But that's what I'm saying. That's why I say other. balance because control just makes it... Control is someone being in charge and I don't think it's a control thing. That's why I said, I mean, it's worded weirdly, but if we're taking it for the way it's worded... Uh, having it's saying taking control that's taking over for everybody i don't think there's anything wrong with it and i and i like what you were saying you were about to bring up like a car and <clears throat> if you if you're drunk one day or let's say you're drunk all the time let's say <laughs> I, <laughs> i'm going to be the driver uh, anytime it comes to going somewhere, I'm going to be the one that's driving because for our safety, it's important that I drive. I think in relationships, knowing who should be steering is important. But do you now, understand there, there's now a there difference. are certain there are certain things that you can steer. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You're there's not a understanding difference what between Kristen is leading. Saying. And taking control. You're leading. You're I don't think there's anything wrong with control, though. There's a though. difference. I didn't say anything was wrong. Right, I'm saying but let's stick to the question. I, she's, she's you're also not talking about the question. That's what I'm saying. No, I was. I was talking exactly about the question. You, I think controlling, control. there's nothing wrong with taking control of a relationship. If but technically, you're not. Part, she's looking at it are, more literally, yeah. a little bit more literally. You're taking control of a situation, not of the relationship. Exactly. Well, it, okay, the, let's go to the relationship. I still don't think there's anything wrong with that. I but, think but if, both, saying, if wait, both parties wait, are but, okay with it, if both parties say, "Yo, but we're going to we're going to allow under, you to be the controller of the relationship." She, has both under, you're, she understands what you're saying, yeah. but you're talking about different things. You're talking about something different. You just keep talking. You're saying that you're. You're so but you're also not responding to what it you're is not that he's at all. talking about. I'm though. talking about with the question. The question goes once again: How important is it to be the one in we control understand. of your relationship? So but, let's let's answer the question: How important is it but to be the I'm, one to be the one in control of your relationship at any given moment? That, I but think understand that, that is okay, a weird question. Okay, yeah. so that's the point. <laughs> but, but you're you're saying let's answer the question, but we're answering two different interpretations of this question. So when you combat me about my answer, it's because we're not talking about the same no, thing. No, I'm not combating you. I hear what you're saying. I He was just trying to say, pertaining to this the right. this question, how do you feel about 
Right. Uh, and how no, important. I y'all think it's don't super, understand that I, I get that? I said I, it's too. We saying. don't know how. Well, get I think it. it's yeah. super important. I think it's super important for one person to be in control. <laughs> I think that now, this the, question the is one, just it's worded weird. weird. Yeah, it's really so weird. The... Um, now, where where I differ, where where, and I think we both agree on this is that that the part of at any given moment, I think that there are certain times or certain instances where one person should be in control of a certain thing. Um, but and all Chris is saying, that's not like being in control of the relationship. That's just that's what I'm saying. It's not about your the words are how important is it to be the one in control in your relationship? And it's like, so it's I not, would also just let's just simplify. I think really, too, is just like for you. Do you want to have control of your relationship at any given moment? Do you want to know that you have? Is it just you just want to have a say so or leading that maybe that that's the misinterpretation? Feel like, I mean, the other thing, too, is like, what does it mean to have control of a relationship? That could mean that you are a submissive person yeah. and right. it how also, things go. But it also could be you're you not, could interpret it, it as that you are the one you're the sole provider. And so you're the one in control of the relationship because. But it, yeah you consider yourself head of household but financially. That's it, still something It different. could also be somebody that feels like they don't have a voice in their relationship. And that is, that is different. Like you have to figure out what you're questioning. Do you feel like you can't um, have a say so, or you can't lead in your relationship and you feel like that's what control is because maybe you, the, you, the other person is more straightforward about things, but I'm saying just having control it, uh, of a relationship to me just doesn't, it does, it, uh. I've been in a relationship where the other person was controlling and it worked. The relationship worked as long as I allowed her to be the one in control. But that, that, to, that doesn't. Making decisions, deciding on how we're going to approach this relationship, how we're going to approach our life. But that's not in control because. At, at so the, what is in control to you? The reason that I'm saying it's not in con being in control. No, no, what's in control listen to Listen to, let me answer what my response is. Maybe this will help you understand it more, what I'm trying to say. It's not being in control because y'all have made a decision together that this is what they're going to lead on. We never made that decision together. You just said, I let That's her do that. I let her. It wasn't though. a decision that was, it wasn't like you we came to the You made the decision to sit back and right. allow her to right. do that. So that's to a be decision. To be in control, though. Y'all made, but it's leading. Why, why? How is it being in control if you are allowing yourself together, this person is stronger or better or does more at this like you've made the decision like hey I, you should take the lead on this one no, no, i wanted that to wasn't, find a leader as being decision. someone who's controlling them yeah That's, that wasn't I, the decision I, I that was made say, I, what, well that goes back to my other question what do you how ooh, do you this define this is the one time i hate when y'all be together because y'all have the same mindset how do you and y'all think the same way but no one is listening like I don't, it's not. Con that's what I'm saying. Do you, you don't so you don't have believe that you don't believe that anybody can ever control a relationship. Fully control a relationship. Yes. What? That's not a relationship. You're fully controlling. A, Explain that. I'm saying you're to fully have be in control. Yeah. How is that? I don't understand. Like I don't. If if you've made the decision to fall back on things, that's just. This person is now leading in this area of your no, relationship. So yeah, don't, so I get so then to her that no, that yeah, that's what so the answer is. I I I've seen situations where there's per there's a person that controls that relationship. They control what they do, how they do it, when they're going to do it, and what's going to be done after everything has been done. Um, but based off of Kristen's definition of that. That, you, you're, you're saying you that's leading. That yes, that wouldn't you can't control a relationship. Because if someone has consciously made the decision to fall back and not do anything and allow someone to control them, that's not that's not a relationship. I don't believe that though. I believe that there are. I mean, relationships. that's oh, oh, that can be that's their not, relationship, but that's not a mutual thing. Like that's what I'm saying. To be in control, you're still making some kind of decision for the whatever balance you have in your sometimes, relationship. Sometimes I don't believe that that always happens. I and this is what I was going to say with the story. When I decided that I wasn't going to allow her to control it anymore, that's when we started having issues. She needed to be the one controlling the relationship for her relationships to work. Okay. And it was all good. It was just for me that wasn't going to work. 
Okay, so you weren't together, so you're not in a relationship, right? No, no, no. We were together. What I'm saying is that we were together. Mm -hmm. When I allowed, when she, when I saw that she wanted to control everything and I took a step back and I said, I'm not going to control anything. Excuse me. The relationship was good. When I decided that I was going to step up and I was like, yo, I'm actually control certain well, things. I don't, I think that... Uh, just relationships in general need to be a balance. And I don't that, think and that's, and no, that's, that's, that's super fine. That's super fine. And I believe the same thing. But what I am saying, what, what the other thing I'm saying though is that there are relationships where one person controls the relationship. It's still a relationship that there's just one person who's controlling how the relationship goes. Is it important for you to be in control? On certain <laughs> things, yes. I don't want to. I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be in yeah, control of relationships. Just podcasts. <laughs> I don't want to be in control of everything, but there are certain things that I do want to be in control of. Do you and feel like you're controlled? Who me? Yeah, uh, I feel like he thinks I'm controlled. That's what I think. Wow. So what's also so interesting about this conversation is that the word control has become a trigger. The, yeah, and like mm -hmm. the definition is very it's is like has becomes very subjective on how you guys are both using it. Yeah. I think that I think that's with anyone. I mean all words are in situations are subjective pretty much like control you can it just depends on how it's worded in this specific case. I don't really know how it's worded, but um <laughs> the way that I think it's worded, um I don't agree with it. Um, as far I don't think it's anything to agree think or being, disagree with. I think being in control of your life separately and coming into a relationship with an understanding of that. You've never had a girlfriend that you felt like it was in a controlling relationship? Yeah. Yeah. They were still in a relationship. Yeah. How important is it to be in control, though? Apparently, it wasn't that important to her. That was the but answer then for that, that question. was that control, though? Because did, was she agreeing to be no she didn't like it but she, that did was you believe it was a relationship did i believe it was a relationship yeah because you said that if one person is controlling that's not a relationship so if, the girl did you believe she was in a from, relationship <coughs> from the, <coughs> don't die i was about to die <laughs> <laughs> that's it's almost asking two different things because from the outside looking in, I can't tell her what a relationship is to her mm -hmm. because I'm not there. That's not my relationship. So if I were to look at it, I would not think that was a proper relationship because I don't feel like anyone should have complete control over you. So that's what I'm saying. As, as far as like control, just to, like leading. Yeah. Like I think relationships are balanced regardless. Like there are certain things you're going to lead on because you're better at and there are certain things that you're going to fall back on because you're not that good at them but you're still wherever you are you've made the decision to do that because it's what's better for i know people that need to be in controlling relationships what yeah what do you mean why i know people because <laughs> if you think they need to be in controlling relationships they don't need to be in a relationship i i disagree with that why because i know people that because both parties in a relationship is just two parties receiving something that they want or need. Like, that's really all it is, is it's a mutual acceptance of, it's a mutual receiving of something. And some people need to receive certain things. Other people need to receive, you know, vi vice versa. If I know people that need to be controlled, they are terrible with relationships. They're terrible with uh, life. Okay, so that's something they have to decide by themselves. You, No one should feel like someone needs that. No one should need that. You shouldn't go into a relationship where the only way that you'll survive is to be attached to someone else. I don't, I'm not saying survive. You're saying what need, I, though. That's I, a need. What I am saying is... I do think that controlling relationships definitely go under the category of toxic yeah. relationships. Depending. But... I think in most situations it goes under the category of toxic. But for instance, like the only reason the only no, the only reason that I took control was because there were certain things that she was doing that I wasn't happy with. Yeah, but did so you that, have that discussion that with that sentence her? that you said is unhealthy? Yeah. Did you actually talk that out or were yeah, you no, just we, sick no, of we, her doing something? I mean, I was sick of it and that's when we talked it out, which is one of my issues. But um, <laughs> but 
I was in the beginning. I was perfectly fine with her controlling everything. It wasn't that I couldn't. Yeah, I was just like, it, hey, do, okay. If I this, feel like we have to look up the definition of control because go ahead. You control were is, then kind of controlling her by you saying that you were allowing her to control you. I wasn't controlling her. That is that is you're because you're kind of like, so. hey, I I could and should be doing this, but I'm gonna let you. No, everything you said was should. about you yeah. making decisions for her. No, yeah, not it was. Could should it was. We got into the relationship. I saw very early on that this is the type of relationship she likes. She likes to be in control of everything. It was who she was as a person. Um, and I didn't have a problem taking the back seat to that as long as I was happy. And you know what's crazy you hear- is that that's just that what you just said is fucking dumb. Because Why then, that dumb? because that's not you being honest with yourself. There's no way in the world that you could be in a relationship where someone could control you. That's not true. In that, Bullshit! We can't even control that, this uh, podcast, in right? That, and it's three fucking hosts. <laughs> in that in that relationship, like I said, I was good until I wasn't. And why were you unhappy? It's literally I unha- uh, controlling relationships are considered unhealthy and dangerous patterns. Why were you unhappy? Because she started doing things that you didn't like. No, no, no. It was just the fact that certain things that she was controlling, I wasn't feeling. So and I was you, just like, but uh, and you said initially, you said as long as I was happy. Yeah. As long as I was good, it, it didn't make no sense. It's like, why? I don't need to fight you for control over certain things. Just go ahead and do your thing. But it's not. Eh. But then it came to a point where I was like, okay, well, I definitely want to control this. And I want to control this. And if you want to control everything else, it but, doesn't. But why does it have to mind. be control? Why is it not a conscious decision of both of y'all to be like, yo, this, yeah, you should take lead on this. It's crazy because I'm talking to you like I'm not married. So this might also be for myself. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, mm. it may be toxic, but I'm still going to stand strong. I know people that need to be in relationships where... I'm going to let y'all know it's not control. me. He is toxic. not talking about me. I just want y'all to no, know no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> But there's people... I can what? tell you who I'm talking about. No, please And you don't. would agree with please me. Please don't. No, I, I mean, I on just the don't show? think these people You'd say are, it? I wouldn't say his name on the show. I just think some people are not ready. Like, people just get into relationships because you think that's what you're supposed to do. If people are not ready to be connected to somebody else, then don't fucking do it. But I also feel like uh-huh. this question wasn't asking, should you be in a controlling relationship? I think yeah. really the question is about a power exchange. And that's what I said. And I said it's not, I also it's, think it's, asking, saying at any given moment is what would lend it to that more of like more of is it important to you to know that you can have power within your relationship yes and i answered yeah. that no I, I but we went yeah yeah, we yeah. Went, but we what happened was speak. it got super convoluted because of the, con- the word of the wording. Of control exactly and to tell but also do say that someone should be in a controlled relationship Yo, this dude needs to be in a controlled relationship you just made us toxic for no reason we didn't was, have to talk about that you know the funny thing he was in a controlling relationship and as long as she was okay with controlling everything it was fine but once she was tired of controlling everything that's when the relationship got bad because he just wasn't good at using your word leading and that's a problem. That's a but problem. But there's also for him. a difference between leading, leading and controlling. And controlling. Exactly. You're right. Like You're those right. are not mutually exclusive. All right. Thank you uh, for fucking up my night. Go ahead. What? <laughs> fucking up my sex for your weird worded question. <laughs> All right. We need some straightforward, specific ass questions next time. Specific, really? Specific, man. Oh, okay. I didn't oh. use the wrong your on a video clip. Shut so the fuck shut up. up. It was one time. Damn. No, no, it happened. There's been, yeah. It's happened before. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> um, um, really? Jinx. Knock on wood. Ew. Really? Are you, you kidding that? me? Wait, yeah, what is been it? Oh, wait. This whole episode. Oh, what the fuck? Soda. Yeah, it's like. Nah, we ain't never did that. That's a millennial Punch shit. buggy, too. Oh, yeah. Ah, what the fuck did you hit me for? <laughs> I don't know. That was my left hand. That was my, I'm sorry. You had a little power in that. Did I? That was my left one. Oh, shit. I could fuck you up. <laughs> wow! Oh God, Karen, these I, babies, <laughs> heavy ass babies. What were you gonna say, Taylor? I think that we should. So I made a suggestion. Um, I made this suggestion a lot, actually, about doing seasons 
And every time this has come up, I feel like it's been no. turned down. But I doing think this we should right talk now? because I think we should because we're going on a two week break. So I feel like we should no. talk, talk about it the, on the two week break. Talk to the users no. to see how the users, the, the listeners, users, no. the listeners. Why? No, this is not a seasonal. Well, show. we can't. First of all, we can't ask listeners because they're going to be like, "No, I need something to listen to every Wednesday." Every week. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, fuck no. I'm not going to. But there's. <laughs> So, like, no. all podcasts do that. Not all podcasts do that. I don't even know why you thought you could bring this on air with no. him. I don't because know why you did that. Because if I brought it up on air, then he, it would no. be Hell easier no, for you. No, he wouldn't. Just... He'll just edit this out. What are you talking about? I'm not going to edit it out. No. But, okay, well, I'm glad it's here because I'm interested to see how people hey, would Taylor, feel about that. That's right. Don't worry about it. I just feel like, okay. I... Tell it. We'll, we could talk. Tell, can we just stop recording? Shit. No, that's all. I don't have to even say anything. No, I'm saying, I'm saying <laughs> I'm we, will, we will. We'll talk about it because, you know, he ain't going. He says no to everything. You know that. I don't even know why you did. You know he says no to everything. Because it's on the show. So it's interesting. It'll be interesting Taylor, to can get I go feedback. Home? No. Uh, can I breathe? No. Why? My air? No. I As you own smoke. The air. This. You damn sure don't blow on us nicotine into it. I haven't been able to taste this either because I told you I burnt my taste bud. <laughs> oh, is man. that your cover um, up for COVID? Huh? Ooh, you can't taste. Is that why I don't feel good? No, I don't have COVID. I swear, to, I told y'all. Well, that'd be another t- reason for us going. Well, on I don't. I break. don't feel good. <laughs> but it's regular. It feels like regular sick. I'm still. Mm, well, I'm still moving because I don't have a choice in this house. But <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm regular sick. It doesn't. No, I just feel like I got meningitis. Go ahead. But, Yo. <laughs> yeah. Um, the irony that would be. That would be crazy. Uh, what any, if I had any, meningitis? Any last words, guys? <laughs> no. Nope. We're at two hours. Any um, last words? Uh, oh, if you don't follow us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram and shit. Um, I was going to say we could talk about Clubhouse, but I don't really. I, I had something earlier, but it's been two hours and I'm tired. Uh, My eyes hurt. Yeah, you uh you've been wearing glasses. That was new for you. Oh yeah, you do. So y'all don't have any last words. No, I don't have too much to say. No, nah, oh yeah, I just love y'all. I'm just I'm just trying to make it go by because he getting irritated. He wanna go to sleep, and this is how I be <laughs> acting when I want to go to sleep, and he wanna fuck. So anything else you wanna say? <laughs> Stretch this time out. Whatever. Uh, with that being said, <laughs> we didn't do honest then, to obey. I know because Taylor said we had to stop. Don't worry, I don't want to do it. Till anyway. we have more questions, I don't want to do it anyway. Go. <laughs> so with that being said, and then we had sex, and so should you. Thanks for listening.